out there we uh, we're trying something a little bit different instead of being in the uh, in the office <laughs> my dog just scratched the floor over there uh, we decided to do it in the uh, in the living room and uh, want to see uh, of course it hasn't started on the television yet so we'll uh, see why that's not happening because uh, I wanted to see oh, looks like it's coming on now there you go there you go can anybody can you hear it uh, can you hear me can uh, we're trying a new microphone as well too so let me know uh, in the. Uh, uh, can oh, you hear yep, me? you can hear that. That's I good. We're going to. Well we're going to hit so, the. Oh, let me know. Uh, Moot that. Okay. Well, here we go, guys. <laughs> good evening. Hi, everybody. There's Andy. There's Blaine. Uh, happy, thank you, guys, for wishing me a happy birthday. This is my birthday uh, live stream. We do it. Uh, well, this is the second year, obviously, because uh, the channel is fairly young. So I really appreciate Pete. Happy birthday. From me, or to me, I guess. I really appreciate you saying that. Uh, I wonder why I can't get the live chat on this. Let me see if I can do that on the television. Let's see. We're trying stuff new, so bear with me uh, as we continue here. Um, do you guys like the picture? Is it better than uh, the last time we did a live stream? It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get it. Yeah, it doesn't say. Well, I guess we're not. Whoops. Let me try it again live nope doesn't look like we're going to be able to get a chat on the uh, little television here but that's okay uh, i can still read it here uh blaine says it's a little fuzzy well that's because i'm using a camera phone uh eventually i'm going to have to buy a, a little program for my computer and that way we can uh, actually use a uh, the canon m50 which is why i bought it <laughs> but I, I'm not able to use the uh, the m50 as it is right now because uh, it needs a special program to to work and uh, I don't have it but uh, it looks pretty good on my little TV sitting next to me here so I'm pretty happy with that so it's not it's not going to be the quality of what we do for our videos uh, uh, obviously because it's uh, it's only I think it's 720 as opposed to uh, 4k which we usually shoot in well we got 14 15 people out there uh, again I want to thank each and every one of you but we're gonna we're gonna have you ask some questions and we're also going to celebrate a little bit uh, drink a little bit of wine uh, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess I have to wear this today. <laughs> now I feel like a dunce. Dun, dun, dun. And she brought me this. There's no whistle, but... <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? It's uh, Do we have any wine? That's great. Uh, we're drinking, uh, and I want to know what everybody else is drinking as well, too. Uh we're drinking a Vouvray, which is a nice uh, white wine. And cheers, Iron Lady. Happy birthday. Thank you, hon. And thanks, guys, for all the uh, for all the uh, birthday wishes. Bradley, glad to see you there. Pete, uh, looking uh, looking fine. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't too proud. I ain't too proud. I guess that's what I can say. 19 people watching. That's great. I really do appreciate it. And again, if you guys want to have some questions, because, uh, you know, the Ronin ride is this week. And we've got a really cool video coming out tomorrow. So I think you guys are going to appreciate uh, what we're doing there. For And it's going to be about the Himalayan. Let's see. Uh, it's uh, 10 a.m. over here and having a... Uh, he's having... What did he say? He's having a double shot of coffee. Oh, a double shot of coffee. That's okay. You can have coffee. Uh, uh, I drink coffee in the morning myself, too. I'm enjoying some... I didn't see that because it faded on the, on, the, uh, on the phone. It looked like you said you were having some Weller. That's great, man. Uh, we really enjoy this time of year. Let's see. Weller bourbon, yep. Uh, and Michael's having smart water. Okay, again, I have to get closer to see the screen. It's not like having the computer, but uh, this, I thought, would be a better background. You can kind of see out there in the hill country and uh, our, our front porch as well, too. And, of course, our living room. Uh, yeah, I know. She wants me to put my glasses on. <laughs> now I look really old because I am. 64 today, guys. Holy Toledo. Uh, hopefully you get a bunch more trips around the sun. Uh, and uh, let's see. Happy birthday, my friend. Re greeting from Mexico. And I'll tell you what. Uh, thank you, guys. You know, we always consider our channel a, a worldwide channel. Uh, we have a lot of followers in the U.S., obviously. But we have 
We have uh, subscribers all over the world, and that makes me really happy that, uh, you know, we're not a huge channel yet, but we're growing. I mean, we're uh, 16,300 and some, or 400 and some right now, and uh, like I said, we just actually got 16,000 here about a week and a half ago, and we're already almost uh, halfway to 17,000, so we're really, really tickled uh, about what the channel's doing, and the video tomorrow uh, is in relationship to the, uh, uh, the Himalayan uh, and we got uh, Graham's there. He's Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. There you go. There's uh, there's Katrina. Happy birthday. Having some uh, Glenn Levitt. There you go. And, you know, maybe I should have drank some bourbon as well, too, or some scotch. But I I was in the mood for a nice uh, a Vouvray, which is a Chenin Blanc grape, if you guys don't know. It's one of my favorites. I really do enjoy this in the summer. And it was pretty, pretty warm today. We've had some really, really exciting things happen around here in the last couple of days. Our Jeep broke down today for Iron Lady and we had to get it towed and we literally just got it out of the shop. And apparently the guy worked on the wrong end of the vehicle. So uh, that's what happens when you, I don't have a lift for, I, motorcycle stuff I can do at the house, uh, but I need to buy a lift so I can do more of the work at home uh, on the vehicles. Uh, I just, again, I'm kind of motorcycle centric in the, in the shop. And so Iron Lady sat down behind me there. I didn't see her, but uh, yeah, I, I need to. I need to do that. And we also got our driveway report profiled. Uh, I know a couple of you guys have been like Andy. You've been to the house here, and you know our our driveway up to the uh, up to the garage. Man, it washed completely out that rain we had the other day. So I had to have a guy come in uh, yesterday to reprofile the driveway because I couldn't get the food truck out. I couldn't. I mean, I could barely get the four wheel drive out. It was so bad. But it's fixed now until the next rain. Uh, let's see. Raymond says makes you look good with the uh, softening, like a Playboy. Stop. <laughs> Playboy photo shoot. I wouldn't say that. Um, party, hey Raymond, thank you. Miss Kitty said that wasn't a good birthday present having the Jeep. No, it was not. Uh, like I said, uh, and we were, and actually we were putting tires on the Fiat, which is why she drove the Jeep over to Columbus. And of course, the minute she drove the Jeep over, she was on 270 when it went out on her and uh yeah such as life guys i mean that happens but where i was heading with this uh was talking about the uh the himalayan and the video for tomorrow let's see raymond says monster energy that's cool man i i, I don't think i could man they make me too jittery i i drink just a couple cups of coffee and i try to stay away from caffeine the rest of the night because i can't sleep as it is let alone having that stuff old man old man things but the himalayan uh, you guys know that uh, we wanted to do a stage one upgrade, and uh, I put, and you'll see the video, I put the uh, the Bach silencer on it as well as the high flow air cleaner, and I, I just can't wait for you guys to see that video tomorrow. I put a little blurb on Instagram today that just uh, lets you hear the, the notes, so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please do, because uh, you get, sometimes you get a little bit ahead, and of course on, on the Patreon as well too. This one I hit... I wanted people to see the uh, the Bach because they they did uh, they did uh, cut me a really good deal on that uh, on that silencer and I'll tell you what it's uh, it's so much cooler than the stock exhaust just the way it looks number one just and the way it sounds is pretty incredible so if you get a chance after the live stream's over go to my Instagram page and look at that video I put up about an hour ago I think you're gonna kick out of it because it's pretty cool but uh, yeah I, I uh, if you have any questions on the stage one upgrades what else we're going to be doing uh, with it as well too please let me know uh, that bike pretty much built the channel uh, it it, uh, it put me down the path 23 watching now great uh, it put me down the path of being a, a relationship with a royal enfield uh, and uh, and again it's been probably the, one of the better things that ever happened to me frank says in florida 64 and not old 94 is old in florida well yeah that's florida ohio uh, when you hit 64 you usually go to florida <laughs> yeah uh, probably not i mean I, I do love my seasons and i love riding in the weather and cold weather just uh, not ice miss kitty says is that uh, oops oh, i lost it i have to wait till it somebody else texts it before it comes back up again like is i said the fuel x thing as well what's that she says, is that with the Fuel X? Not yet. Uh, I'm not putting the Fuel X Pro on uh, until next week. Uh, and the reason why is simply because uh, I, I want to show off the Himalayan tomorrow, or not tomorrow, on Friday at the, uh, at the uh, um, 
meeting we're having before the Ronin ride. And uh, so I'm going to ride it over there, let people get a, a kick out of it. And then Saturday, obviously, when we go on the Ronin ride, I'll take the Meteor 350. But I want to burn a little bit more gas out of it yet and then take the tank off because you, I, you do have to take the tank off to get the wiring into the ECU and uh, in the whole nine yards. So it's, it's, a, little, it's a little more in-depth in the, uh, the video that you'll see tomorrow, uh, but it's pretty cool. I say thanks. <laughs> she, yeah, she can read quicker than I can. I'm, uh, I'm kind of trying to concentrate on the screen, and as soon as it comes up, it fades on my phone for some yeah, reason. Yeah, he refuses to wear the glasses. <laughs> Maybe I should take the microphone away. <laughs> Ray You're says, you need to use the, uh, oh, I can't read it. What's he say, huh? You need to use straw, a straw to speed drink and speed talk at the same time. Oh, that'd be, well, I, I speed talk as well as it is, let alone speed drink. Chad says, uh, Knob Creek 9. Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, I haven't seen Ch uh, Chad Zimmerman on here in a while. I don't know. Uh, he was on a trip uh, and... Uh, I, I know he's back now, so I'm hopefully he's, he's supposed to be coming down for the Ronin ride, and I know we've got 17 confirmed as of today. So if you guys are interested, if you want to come down and, and ride down to uh, uh, Augusta, Kentucky, not Georgia, Augusta, Kentucky, it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be 130-some miles one way, all bikes under 500 cc's. It's going to be a nice leisurely ride. Uh, what's Graham say? He just... Uh, what do you I just put the long ride rails and the touring pegs on my fireball. I can't thank you enough for the long ride review. They look great. Awesome. Hey, send me a picture, man. Uh, we'll put that on Instagram and also, uh, uh, if, if obviously, Graham, you've got a picture, a subscriber shout out, but we'll do you another one if you want to with you, the bike, and the uh, and the long ride. That makes me happy. That uh, that kind of stuff just really excites me because I, I I try to I pick things I totally believe in. And, uh, and uh, when I try to, I don't want to say promote, but uh, that's, that's basically the way I like to do things. I, I don't really talk about, if, if, you, if you don't hear me talk about something, I don't like it. And that's usually the way it goes. What did Andy say there, babe? Getting the Hemi cleaned up and ready to go for the ride this weekend. Can't wait. Chad says, I wish I lived closer. I would love to do that. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys, because, and it's great. We have, a, we have basically a moderator here with me to read all the stuff because... Because you're stubborn and won't wear your glasses. What can I say? Ray said something else. He goes, he came, um, I can't see him. <laughs> I came by on 270 two days ago on the Himalayan hauling the monowheel trailer behind it. Oh, that's awesome. How does that work on the highway? I was kind of curious. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've seen those before. Adventure but I'm... 50 says, happy birthday, my friend. Hey, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, uh, we really enjoy doing these live streams anyways, let alone doing a birthday one. It makes me, I get a kick out of it because, uh, you know, it's time of this. And then, of course, New Year's, we like to get a little goofy, uh, as goofy as we possibly can be. Uh, I don't know. Did you get the stickers I sent you? Uh, probably not yet. I haven't been over to the mail. Uh, you sent it to the P.O. Box, correct, Adventure 50? Uh, I, uh, I haven't been over there in a couple weeks. I need to get back over there. But uh, I'm sure if you sent them, they're in the, in, they're in the, the, the uh, P.O. Box. It's just I don't go there all the time. Uh, it's just, it's, it's not, it's closest uh, post office to me, but uh, it's kind of cool out here on our rural route. The guy normally delivers but, uh, you know, it's one of those type of things you can't really put your personal address out there, uh, if you know what I'm saying. So we have a P.O. box just for that. He goes, uh, yes, I did. Uh, Chad, there he is. Hey, Chad, uh, we were just talking about you. Can't wait to have you come down. Uh, did you end up getting a Cardo? You said you were going to get a Cardo. I don't know if you're going to, because uh, if, if Chad comes down, we're going to have him run tail on the Ronin ride. Uh, the guy's got more bikes than I do. How do you like that? That's kind of awesome. Uh, Blaine says there's a chat. <laughs> He's, that's great, man. Uh, like I said, there's. A, are you going to be here for Friday night, or are you just coming in for Saturday and, and Sunday? I'm just kind of curious. It, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it really truly is. Uh, like I said, it, it's the first group ride I've done uh, with these smaller bikes ever. Uh, normally, I have done stuff like, uh, and I had one of our subscribers say that he's never been on a ride ride before, and I said that we have almost twenty and. Uh, Man, I've been on some monster rides up in Cleveland. Chad says I'll be the Friday. Okay, great. Uh, Chad, uh, the, the the rides we have up in Northeast Ohio were so much bigger than they are down here. Like our teddy bear run that would go from uh, uh, the center of Akron up to, or not the center of it. Usually, it was usually started down at Adventure Harley, 
uh, before that it was uh, at H&M and it would ride up to Akron Children's Hospital and we would have 5,000 motorcycles in it. It was amazing. Uh, down over here, they don't get that kind of motorcycle traffic and I don't know why, but they don't. But uh, you would think with A.D. Farrow that they would, because uh, usually, the, usually the big rides are Harley Davidson based. Um, uh, but we're trying to change that a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna make uh, you know all bikes accessible, uh, even though that in those rides all bikes were allowed. But you know it's one of those type of things. We want to try something a little bit different. Small bike rides, and and we may increase it uh, for another ride uh, next year to include the 650s. Um, but uh, I'm not certain yet. Uh, like I said, we want to make sure that we. The whole idea of me uh, with the Media 350, the the Himalayan. Uh, is we want to promote this smaller bike uh, lifestyle because it's going to be a big thing with the price of fuel uh, continually going up. I think it's going to be a major thing. And we want to show people that you can go long distances like, you know, pretty much anywhere. Uh, if When I finally uh, retire, because it's hard for me to get off work, uh, I want to do a couple really long distance things. I wanted to do the Trans-America Trail, but with COVID and everything else kind of messed everything up. Still not out of the question yet. It's just a matter of time. Let's see. Miss Kitty said the Harley rides were always intimidating with a Japanese bike. Uh, if you had do a 750, can I bring my side? Of course. I mean, if I do something like that, it would be, I'd, I'd open that up uh, and I'd probably ride, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'd, I'd probably ride a, 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 a Continental GT or something like that. He missed J.R. Clark. Says he had to borrow a bike, but he'll be there. Weather looks great. Fine, fantastic. And is it J.R. you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, J.R. Uh, now, guys, if you haven't sent me an email saying that you're going to be there, do. Because I sent an email out today. And let's have a, uh, uh, Chad, did you get your email? Blaine, did you get your email? I sent it out to all the guys in the Ronin ride that has a little bit more specific uh uh, information and like the address of uh, Granville Brewing and also where we're meeting at right outside of Dick's uh, uh, Sporting Goods uh, on Saturday morning. Let's see. Chad says he, I didn't check. Okay, it, it should be there for you, Chad. Uh, I know, uh, um, let's see, uh, I know uh, Andy signified he got his. Uh, Blaine, did you get your email from me? Because I sent it, like I said, he, Blaine says yes. And also gave a link to Kalimoto and that also that link uh, to Kalimoto included the map that you can download. As soon as you download the app, you can put that map into Kalimoto. Now, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Andy said that he, I sent him a, uh, yep, he got it. Great. Uh, I, uh, I sent a, a GPX file to him for his, uh, uh, okay. JR said he got it. Great. Fantastic. Peter says, well, the smaller bikes thing is just fun and right. Exactly. And that's what I want to try to do. You know, I've been through the gamut of running monster motorcycles from all the way from, uh, you know, my, my, my Suzuki GS 1100ES days all the way to my Harley days and, and Triumph and Nortons and stuff like that. Not that I don't love that stuff. I do love it. Uh, I, it, it but it's so much more... I'll tell you what, uh, that video that I did last week where I showed you that I was on, you know, kind of testing out the Kalimoto and, and I got on some gravel with the, uh, with the uh, Meteor 350 and how well it performed just blew me away. I, I couldn't believe how well that thing performed and it, it, uh, on the gravel and it, it, really, it really opened my eyes. I, I, I really got a kick out of it. Now, that Versus that I rode here the last video, that thing is a lot of fun. Uh, way too much tech for this old boy. Uh, I mean, it, it, it was a blast. I really, really enjoyed it. Would I ever buy one? No. Uh, and the reason why is because if I'm going to do any long distance uh, touring and I need a big engine, like a lot of munch and miles on the, uh, on, the, on the highway, then I'm taking the Road King because that thing is like a lounge chair, man. I can sit back. I've got different places to put my feet. I can haul hundreds of pounds uh, and uh, it just wow. is what it is. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Let's see. Ray says, uh, I am, I ran 70, 75. I'll tell you what, wait till you see this video tomorrow with the Himalayan, with that, uh, Balk, uh, silencer and that, uh, in that, uh, uh, air, high, high flare, uh, high flow air filter did that K and N, uh, man, did it open it up and the acceleration was, it, it, wow. That's all I'll say. You got to watch that video. It is super fun. So I couldn't imagine a bigger bike 
than the Hemi off road. Now, you know, I've, I've written, like I said, the, some of these other bikes, you know, when I first started the channel, I didn't have any, any virtually any experience on uh, ADV style bike. Dirt bikes is one thing, but ADV style bikes. And uh, after that, I've had an opportunity to ride pretty much everything out there from tigers to, it didn't film everything. Uh, there's a reason why, and you guys know if I don't say anything, that's why, but uh, I just, it just is what it is. You know, uh, I, I prefer, because I don't necessarily ride just gravel roads. I like to go in the dirt and be honest with you, if I'm riding in really, really tough conditions, the Hemi is about as much as I want to be able to pick up because you're going to drop it. You guys, uh, I don't know if you, the, the guys uh, that are Patreons have seen me replace stuff like, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, <laughs> the, the foot peg, I, Iron Lady and I couldn't ride the bike for a while because I knocked off a foot peg getting a stump and it pushed me right over. But it just is what it is. Ray, what, what did Raymond say there? I missed him. Um, which time? The, the last time. He just came up a little bit ago. I had to haul bike parts to a fuel rally in West Virginia. Too much weight on it on the way there. I had to keep it below 64. Gotcha. Now, Ray... Uh, you I'm trying to think you have a classic correct if i'm not mistaken or do you have the himalayan no you, ray you have the uh the uh uh you have the uh brain went dead uh Mutaguzi, correct uh but then you also either have a classic or a meteor i can't remember you have to tell me but looking forward to seeing you again i i uh i got a kick out of going over and visiting i, I can't wait to ride a moto to be honest with you like i said i rode one a long time ago scooter's there he goes i can hear you fine that's fantastic Happy birthday. Thank you. I think you're younger than me. That, that's, uh, that's good for me. <laughs> but uh, you know what? It, uh, it, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I can't even believe I made it to this age, to be honest with you. I, uh, wow. I'm my dad's age, in my opinion. And it's like, what's happening? Where, where, did, where did time go? But when you're on motorcycles, you don't feel old. Uh, Miss Kitty said there's some tough trails around me and I wouldn't want anything heavier. It's been doing good though. That's great. Uh, like I said, uh, when your warranty is over, Kitty, I would definitely look at putting a a a, 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 a that that airflow. I mean it, that and a new new uh, muffler is huge. I mean it's huge, and that's without doing anything with the ECU. Now it's part of a first uh, uh, first uh, or stage one is an ECU adjustment as well too. I didn't get any pop, and it really surprised me. I thought I was going to get some. Pop, but again, the Himalayans run a little lean, anyways. What's that? Geezers on wheels. Michael says Geezers on wheels. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make a T-shirt that says that. <laughs> Old man wrote it. Geezers on wheels. Maybe we should do that for the next ride. That's hilarious. That would be the best name for the next ride. Geezers on wheels. Michael, send me your uh, address, man. I'll send you some stickers. Because <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Geezers on wheels. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, uh, for sure. Dave Ewart, uh, chat says, I have some extra high flow that I'm, an extra high flow that I can bring maybe once. And I have a, I have a brand new air filter, K&N, or not K&N, it's a stock one that I'll never use. You'll see that in the video tomorrow. I mean, I, I tell you what, I was so impressed with the, you know, as much dirt and dust and stuff that I run, how well that the air cleaner works in the, in the, uh, in the Royal Enfields because I didn't have any debris at all anywhere. Uh, and the, of course the filter looked good too, uh, but of course I just replaced it not too long ago. But anyway, 25 watching, seven fingers up, or thumbs up. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions on the Ronin ride, let's see. Scotter says, old man fall into three categories, coots, codgers, and curmudgeons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, all three, curious. Said. Or, <laughs> Iron Lady just said, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of all of them, yeah. Let's see, Graham says, has anyone put high flow on a meteor? Uh, I know a few people have, and uh, it, it does the same thing. It opens it up. Anytime you get a better balance of easier airflow, and most of the stuff that they're doing with these engines are based upon the emissions. Um, they re restrict it and make them run lean. And when you need, when you open them up, they run so much better. I'm telling you. Uh, it, uh, it, now, mine's a 2018, the Himalayan in particular, but it really opened it up. What's, uh, is that... Ronald, I can't see. What's he saying? You're too far away, but have a good ride. I'm 74 and passed the break, break in for my uh, INT. Can't do multiple bikes, or I'd be looking. I'd be looking at either the 
Scram 411 or a 350. Anyway, no, I haven't had it. I have zero experience on the uh, Scram 411. I did talk to uh, Royal Enfield today a little bit. I don't know. Something's going to be coming out really soon. I don't know what it is, but uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, Miss Kitty just said something too and I missed it. Oh, she 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 says when when Scooter said three categories, Cuse, Carter, Curmudgeon, she's like, hey, wait, I'm not one of those. And then she's like, wait, oh, she was, he was talking about old men. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, Sean. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. Oh, Ray's got a Himalayan. Okay, great. Fantastic. Uh, 2021. Uh, like I said, it uh, that bike, there's few motorcycles in my life that I will never get rid of. One of them is my Road King. Um, there's no doubt about it. That bike, it, it's 20 some years old now. I, I love it to death. It'll stay in the garage even if it's in pieces. Uh, I'll keep it. Uh, and another one is the Himalayan. That thing, it, 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 I owe it so much. Uh, I just, I just love it. What was the last comment there? Was it Ronald? Ronald says happy birthday. Thanks, Ronald. I appreciate it. Like I said, uh, we're really, really, really excited about uh, what's going to be happening with the channel anyways in the next couple of months. Uh, we also have a Ronin retreat coming up in October, and uh, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more or less ADV style bikes. There will be no horsepower limit, so guys that have like the GSs or the... Uh, or the uh, uh, Moto Guzzi's, the big ones, or the Tigers, or whatever, you're more welcome. But it is a place that you're going to need a Himalayan to get to. Uh, it's going to be staying in a cabin. Uh, there'll be several cabins available. depends on how many people come. Um, there's going to be fishing available. But it's going to be just a place that we can go, have like a base camp. And then there's so much trails and, and gravel roads around there. In fact, you have to get there via a gravel road that's pretty rough. I know uh, the resort doesn't get much car traffic because of that reason. And it's cool because there's a bar and restaurant as part of the resort. So more information will be future after the Ronin ride. But uh, the Ronin ride is going to be something that we're really tickled with. 29 people. Man, I really want to appreciate Tell it. Tell Michael Elwell how, you can, how he can get you his address. Uh, you can email it to me. Uh, that's the best way. Oldmanronin at gmail.com. Chad says, I did fall in love with the Himalayan. Every time, I mean, that's what, it's so cool. And if, if the only negative thing I can ever say about the bike is I wish the seat was taller for my longer legs. Uh, I, uh, that's really it. I just want a taller seat. Uh, and uh, just putting padding on it isn't gonna work. Let's see, what did uh, Peter say? I seen, uh, he said something. I heard you refer to yourself in a recent video at the Yankee. Does that mean you're originally from New England or thereabouts? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, pretty much anything north of the Mason-Dixon line. Uh, considering during the Civil War, Ohio fought with the North, I just figured, yeah, no, I'm, I've, I'm Ohio, Ohio, born and bred. Uh, our family's been here in, well, not this area, but in Northeast Ohio uh, since the uh, mid, early 1700s. In fact, uh, our family used to, there's a, nobody knows this, which blows me away. Our, our, our area even had some Revolutionary War stuff associated with it. In fact, in Bolivar, Ohio, uh, there's the most farthest west Revolutionary War fort. It's not there anymore, obviously, but there's a site that you can go to. It's part of a state park. It's called Fort Lawrence. And our family uh, not only fought in the revolution, but they also uh, serviced uh, and gave food to the fort. And it was right along the Tuscarawas River in Tuscarawas County. And uh, my, our family moved there way before that. So they've been in the area when the French and Indian Wars were on. And uh, it, it's pretty exciting that history to me is, a, I love it because my family's been in this part of Ohio. Uh, they got here in the 1600s in America from Germany and uh, they, uh, they've they kind of uh, just spread everywhere. I have family in California and Texas, pretty much everywhere. So 25 people, that's awesome. Uh, Iron Lady says, hi, Chad. Hey, there you go. You guys talking? Let's see what uh, Pete says. Fantastic. You know, care about fan. That's what's most important, man. Uh, I got a kick out of my, I talked to both of my, uh, my oldest and my youngest son today. Uh, my oldest son's buying a Himalayan, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, and my youngest son is, uh, he lives in Hawaii. 
and he's he's not sure. I, I, he says he can't find a Himalayan dealer in his part. I think he's on the Big Island. I told him I'd do some research for him to see if I could find something out. But he uh, he's basically told me that he would love to get a. Uh, a, a, a classic but he's going to get whatever and because uh, he after he moved to hawaii he hasn't really had a motorcycle so he needs to do that again so it makes me pretty happy but yeah my uh my uh, oldest son's going to buy a himalayan and he lives in greensboro north carolina so i mean he's got some pretty cool places around there to ride let's see uh, oh iron lady's talking <laughs> Any other questions about the Ronin ride before we move on to what's going to be happening uh, during this next uh, trip around the sun? Because I think the Ronin ride is going to be an absolute blast. Uh, not only are we going to cross the Ohio River on a ferry, uh, which I think is going to be so cool. I've done it a lot of times. I've, done, I've been on a motorcycle on a ferry in a lot of different places. And so I thought it would be kind of cool because this ferry down there is just, I mean, it's an old... <laughs> It probably scares some some folks. It's an old rickety old uh, ferry that you know. It's basically a barge with a with a boat on the side of it, but they take stuff across the river every day, uh, year round, and it's kind of fun. And if you've never done it, if you've never crossed any body of water with your motorcycle, it'll be a blast. Here in Ohio, we got we're kind of blessed because we've got Lake Erie to the north and the High River to the south, and so I ferried over to Kelly's Island and. Also to Pelee Island in Canada, and also to Middle Bass or Putin Bay, uh, South Bass, uh, and all those places. Uh, and it's you know with motorcycles, I've been doing it for all of my life. It's just a lot of fun. Cannon air filter, charcoal canister, delete air ejection, delete. Da -da 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 -da. Well, I mean that's pretty cool. You're pretty much doing the same thing, even more so than what I'm doing. I uh, I'm doing just the basics because I, what I want to do is give people that uh, can basically do all this stuff themselves and that's what we're going to do the, the video based upon anybody can do it and that's really what the uh, uh, most of my videos are is the you don't need to be a mechanic uh you just need to have a few tools and you can do any of the upgrades i've ever done on any of my motorcycles that's why i don't show you me rebuilding engines uh it, it, not everybody can do that is it cool to watch yeah it's kind of fun but there's a thousand channels out there doing that this instead, we're just showing stuff that the average Joe or Joey or Jody, Jody, that's better, can actually do it themselves. And if you just follow the step-by-steps like we do, uh, and not all the time do I get the right measurements, especially with metric. It drives me absolutely insane. Uh, it is what it is. Iron Lady, they look awesome. Okay. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. We're talking about the, the candles, yeah. Oh, the candles. Yeah. The one thing I know about, I can't talk about motorcycle parts. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Hey, you did work on your, your Sportster. Give me a break. <laughs> Ish. That's movie magic. That's movie magic. <laughs> it kind of does look good back there with the candles. I didn't even notice it. I just checked uh, my, uh, what's it say, and was surprised. What did she say? Hold on, please. That's a iron. Uh, what do you call it? Miss Kitty just said something. Yeah, it's a little bit different. I I, I love the aspect of having the, the television next to me, but for some reason this TV won't do, won't show the chat. Yes, I was surprised to see it said at 0.80 from the dealer. Well, there you go. 0.80. Again, I don't know about motorcycles. I ride. <laughs> that's it. I don't know any details, so. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with that because I would say 90% of people that have motorcycles are the same way. But, to answer Scooter's question, what, what Scooter say? Have you heard anything from long ride bags about making mounts for the Himalayan? Uh, no, however, I don't think they're going to go that route. But, Scooter, if you, buy, if you don't buy the Sidekick and you buy the other version uh, and you have the, the regular... Uh, the regular uh, pannier braces for uh, for the uh, Himalayan, those will work. You can you can strap those on because they're basically they're leather straps that go around the uh, the brackets. And I do know for a fact those will work. Uh, they they kind of loop together. You can put it under your seat in the back there and then loop it across where the pannier rails are, and that'll work fine. They are coming out with the uh, they already have for the Interceptor and the Continental GT. And they, for the sidekick, and they also have the Meteor 350, and the Classic 350 should be here pretty soon. If for you guys that have the Classic, if you want the long ride. See, I'll stand off here on the side, that way you can see Iron Lady's pretty candles. <laughs> 
I don't do pretty, <laughs> obviously. <Clearly>. Yeah. <laughs> My pleasure, man. Uh, okay, what is it? Awesome 57 motorcycles, easy to work on as long as you have the right to. Exactly. I mean, they're really, I mean, unless you're getting into the ECUs and, uh, well, I know a lot of guys, if you're Harley related, you know, if, if you have a Harley Davidson, you're going to have to replace a stator. <laughs> it's just part of life. Uh, I probably replaced 20 of them. And I'm not kidding. Uh, it's, uh, it, and you know, if you start getting into them deep, you know, it, it can be a little intimidating replacing, uh, you know, clutch plates things like that, or, you know, uh, or, you know, those kind of things can be a little bit more intimidating, but if you're doing just basic maintenance, no, motorcycles are super easy. Chad says, Iron Lady, what's your final drive gear issue on your sports? <laughs> yeah. Tell him. I just got hit. No, I'm just teasing. Man, I'm really enjoying this Vouvray tonight. And I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I like the setup here better. Uh, but it's a little bit, you need to be able to I, see I need chat. to be able to read the, I need to be able to read the, uh, the chat. You have glasses sitting right there. No, but I look like an idiot. Let's no, see. No, you don't. You look like you have Graham glasses. Graham says, by the way, my long ride rails came with the meteor longer bolts in the pack. You know, that, that's one thing that I did tell those guys uh, that they needed to do because when they first put the meteor, uh, uh, the rails together, they didn't take into consideration that people sometimes have, the uh, the 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 uh, sissy bar. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they have the uh, the you know the GV uh, luggage rack. Sometimes they don't. So they needed to include the bigger uh, bolts. And when we were talking back and forth, I was the test bed for that particular the Media 350. And uh, we uh, we were really proud of what we can do. And they took my information and sent the bolts based upon uh, what uh, I suggested, and that makes me happy that they're including 31 people. That's awesome. I, I really do appreciate it, guys. I just I, I want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, these live streams to me are a lot of fun to do. Miss Kitty said, oh, saw you on Air Moto. Com I know. It's just a little flash there on Instagram. Today, well, that's pretty cool. We uh, w That's another thing. I, I will have my Air Moto with me, guys, in case anybody has any uh, tire issues. Um, Signified says, uh, so the Ronin Ride GPX file works on my Garmin Zoom and XT, but it has to split into two routes because it contains more than 20. The reason why it contains so many waypoints on that GPX, I found out the reason why, is because on the Calimoto, it just uses a couple places, waypoints where I start. On the, uh, on the GPX, every turn is a waypoint. And uh, I guess that's the way they do it. it, it, it it's kind of cool. It's really exact. However, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> So, uh, and the, the, the places that I, ch I made the stops were gas stations um, because uh, I want to make, I will have a, a fuel, fuel bottle or two along with me too, in case I know, for example, or, uh, what do you call it, AA a a Ron only has a two gallon tank. So uh, we want to make sure that he's got fuel in case he can't make it to the first place. I don't know what that 500 uh, uh, Honda actually uh has as far as, well, it's four, 490 something. I don't know what his fuel economy is, but I'm getting... 80 plus mile a gallon, so I'm not really worried about it, but I'm still gonna fill up at every place. And like I say, we're gonna do it for two reasons. It's 130 some miles. A lot of guys haven't uh, ridden their bikes that long. I know, I know, again, this is for a mixture of people. Uh, I've only met like maybe three of you guys, maybe four. Uh, everybody else will be the first time. So what I wanted to do on this first ride, since we really don't know each other, is to make it simple, relaxing, and leisurely. Because uh, I don't know your ability, and that's not a crack. That's just the way it is. We want to make everybody to be nice and safe. But you also have to realize that you're on your own too, guys. I mean, you know, if uh, you're adults here, and if uh, and uh, you know if you've got a problem and you need to pull off, uh, we'll try to help you as much as we can. But the reality of it is, have your shit working. <laughs> What, no, okay, you, did you acknowledge to Neil Thury, who said happy birthday? Hey, Neil, thank you. I appreciate the happy birthday. No, I did not see it. So what's the next one? What else we got? Hold on, he was a while back. Can you, uh, can you hear Iron Lady on the mics? Because she's got one they of these. They can hear me because they're talking to me. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We want to make sure everybody's hearable. Is that a word? Let's Chad says he's carrying two extra gallons. Did you get that? No, I didn't. That's great. Chad will have some. I got the air moto also after your review. So keep keep on keeping on, mate. We really appreciate you. That makes me happy. That that air moto thing, man. I use it. I tell you what. Here's here's. 
this is this is probably the best test ever. I have a slow leak in my mower tire. <laughs> I know, and I'm too damn lazy to get a new tire because they're freaking expensive. That's too cheap. And I'm too cheap. Uh, so I blow that tire up every time I use it. And, and, and it's one of those type of things that I use the air moto to get it up to, and then I run it up the hill and get put on the big compressor. And uh, it, the thing works flawlessly. I love the air moto, man, and particularly for motorcycles. I, uh, if I had to depend on it for a flat tire on a car, it might frustrate me a little bit because it takes so long. But on motorcycles, bicycles, blowing up uh, you know, mattresses, things like that, uh, mower tires it works perfectly and i just i get i i love the thing and i'm i'm a huge fan of the air moto system and i have one with me we're going to be doing an air moto giveaway uh, in the future here um again excuse me wine again so let's see uh did you um hold on to it okay adventure 50 oh, we already got past that never mind Sorry. okay well, there's a bunch more that's popped up i just seen I don't know what any of that means. Well, tell me. Dante says, hey, happy birthday. Thank you, Dante. Appreciate it. Dante says slime. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I. Chad says slime. I, I don't know what they're talking about. Airmoto rules. Chad says, I bought an Airmoto. Love it. Where's the cake? <laughs> uh, we're drinking. We ate it. We're drinking. <laughs> hey, hang on. Hang on, Ray. We're, we're, we're drinking stuff. <laughs> don't get ahead of us, man. <laughs> What's up with that? He likes the candles and the cake. Well, those candles are hard to blow out. Here, let me show you. I can actually blow those out. <laughs> Not with that. You can see this. He, he has some. He knows what they are. Oh, he, We've well, had a conversation about it. This is how long-winded I am. Yes. It ain't pretty, working, damn it. Pretty long-winded. <laughs> Not that long-winded. Damn it. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I tried. Thought I'd be kind of clever, but I'm not. Apparently, I'm not. Oh, Chad. Chad Winters is explaining what slime is. The green spray stuff you spray in tubeless tires. Oh. To oh. Okay. 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 I, I, I. I. I understand what you're saying now. I. You know what? I don't like that stuff simply because I got to get in the tires and later. That's the only reason. But it does work on the road. And Andy, thank you, man. I appreciate the super chat. That, uh, that makes me happy. And everybody say big thanks cheers, to Andy. Thank you, Andy. Cheers, cheers. And we got to give a bit of drink, everybody, for Andy because he gave us a. Oh, we got to get the Iron Lady up here. Wait. Cheers. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Andy. We really appreciate you, brother. These, uh, these things really do help the channel. Like, you have no idea. Uh, let's see, Scooter says, Air Moto saves a lot of pain in my back trying to put a gauge on it. It, it does. Uh, yeah, thanks, Chad, for saying that too. Miss Kitty says, salute. We, uh, the, the, uh, the super chats, uh, they and the super stickers and, and the super thanks on regular videos really make a difference. Uh, you know, I was looking at, we, 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 I kind of got a little formula on how much you can actually make on YouTube. And it, it, it's minuscule, it's my, it, my, my size of channel. But when you get up into a bigger channel, then it's a little bit better. But right now, man, the super chat and the super thanks and the super stickers mean so much to us small guys. Uh, and I say small guys simply because even though we're on our way to 17,000 subscribers, we're not there yet. Uh, we would like to hit 20,000 by the end of the year and then keep building upon that. But I have noticed what makes it, everything is exponential. The more subscribers you get, the more views you get. And if I can average 20 to 30% of views to subscribe, of my subscribers to, to watch the videos, it, it, it makes a big difference. And of course, adding the super chat and the super thanks and the super stickers really help because those are bonuses. And it, uh, and it tells me that you guys are enjoying the stuff. And that's why I go out of my way to tell people how much I appreciate you for doing that. It just means everything to not only Iron Lady. I mean, we both have full-time jobs. Um, my, my job as far as, and I'm going to sound like I'm crying, but my job is going way down ever since the uh, ever since covid because people aren't spending the money like they used to and so this stuff makes a big difference what uh, what did uh, raymond say there i use uh, it hold on please Did okay. you acknowledge jason walker's what comment? did jason 
What do you say? I'm an hour from any trails. 99% of my riding is street. Mm -hmm. If that was your situation and you could only have one bike, would you still want the Himalayan? He currently rides an 883. I say 883 because I'm Harley always. <laughs> She's a Harley girl. Um, Oops. Man, that's a tough one for me. I, I love the Hemi, but if you're not going to ride off-road, man, your, your 883 is a fucking... Oh, your 883 is a great motorcycle. We have three sportsters in our family, so... Uh, it, it, you know, again, you got to have, you got to, you got to know what you're riding. And if you're not riding any dirt, I mean, the Himalayan works great uh, on the road. There's no question about it. The, the video you'll see tomorrow will show you what it'll do on the road. However, if you're never riding dirt and you're always riding road, stick with what you got if you're happy with it. Uh, if you want to do more things, that's when you start looking at other bikes. But you're going to have people say, well, you got to have this. No, man, you got to have what makes you happy. And you got to have something. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. There's a, there's a, I have a friend that has a dealership for over in Columbus that sells nothing. You know, they sell BMWs and tri Triumphs and yada, yada, yada down the road. He was telling me that 90%, 80 to 90% of every GS uh, off-road bike never sees any gravel road. And... If you, again, you got, he's, they're buying the bikes for more, oops, sorry, Rusty. They're buying the bikes more for status than they are anything else. But you got to know what you like. You got to know your riding style. You got to know what your roads are going to be on. Uh, personally, if I wasn't going to ride in my, uh, my undisclosed location, see that, Chad? Uh, I, is the Himalayan a great bike? I mean, it'll do anything. It'll do the roads. It'll do the highway. Is it the best on the highway? Not at all, but it does the dirt man really well and it does the gravel superiorly. Uh, the bike will do those things the best, but you gotta know where you're riding. So for me to say, no nah, man, dump that 83. Number one, I love Sportsters. I'm a, I, my very first bike was a Sportster. So there's always gonna be a little heart there. And in fact, like I mentioned earlier, we still have three Sportsters in the family. And uh, I always look for, I try to find a 66 XCLH, like my old one, that I blew up. I mean, I tore, I was just a kid, man. I started at 14 and I rode it all over. I mean, I, I, I put lots of miles on. That's the bike I took from here to Orlando, from Orlando to Los Angeles, from Los Angeles to Anchorage, Alaska, and then back home. 12, 13,000 mile road trip when I was 17 and 18 years old. And, uh, it was on a Sportster, and I loved every second of it, and I cried like a little girl. Nothing personal, ladies, but I cried like a little person like that That uh, when I blew the thing up because it was impossible to fix. Did you see Cornelius? No. What did, Cornelius, welcome to the channel. 38 people watching. Yay. It says, your channel has me seriously considering the Royal Enfield Meteor going to the dealership to check it out. Happy birthday. Thank you, and ride the bike. Ride as many bikes that you want. And that way it'll tell you, you know, I don't, if you don't buy a Meteor, that's okay. If you don't buy a Classic, that's okay. You don't buy a Royal Enfield, that's okay. As long as you're riding, that's all I care about. I, Honestly, I, I like the Sportster, but I also like the seating position for the Meteor. So I, I, would, I don't dislike that Meteor at all. I, I really like how it sits. And that's that's a key because the, the sports are rough, man. <laughs> Sports-ers are bigger, but I love it. It's fast and I love it. Yeah, the, the, the meteor is awesome if you just want to kick back and just kind of cruise and take it easy. It's it's awesome. Pop your head up so people can see where you're Nobody going. Nobody wants to see my fat face. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just basically said it better than I could. You know, the, they the, can hear me. The meteor is just so freaking comfortable, and and it does. I mean, again, it's only a three fifty, but. Man, we, we ride it two up all the time. It's one of our favorite bikes. We don't even ride the Road King anymore, hardly. Yeah, it's much to my dismay. She loves the Road King. Sorry. She's a Harley girl. Uh, a couple more, uh, what do you call it, uh, video oh, talks. Do okay. we have any more wine? Because I'm kind of out. Okay, well, do you want me to read comments? You read comments while I walk over. Uh, <laughs> here, pop up here so they can see your face. They we don't need to see my face. That way they can see. There's well, got to be a somebody in the screen. What do we got here is wine wise? I'm looking for Oh, did you put a new one in there or we don't have anything? I didn't put a new one in there. 
Oh, man. Ugh. Well, this is a disaster. <laughs> Guys, we're going hillbilly. Peter in the sticks. I feel the same about the Sportster. It's the bike I fell in love with watching then came Bronson back in 1969. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's, I was kind of blessed that my family's been around motorcycles my whole life, so it's one of those type of things I grew up around them. Uh, my grandfather in particular, he was a huge Harley guy. He rode Indians too, but he loved Harley. Uh, I mentioned that I was going to go hillbilly. Rolling rock, baby. Because <laughs> apparently, Iron Lady failed to do her There's job. There's wine in there, I, but maybe you need to put your glasses on and find it. It, it, it ain't the good wine. It's that stuff that we got down at Indians. It's not shit wine. Anyways, what other what other talks are we getting here? Oh, there, what do we got there? Uh, Jason Walker. Hey, thank you, Jason. Tell everybody uh, we really appreciate you, Jason. That means so much. We really love the super chat. And what did he say in his? They appreciate the response and the cool sconce. <laughs> everybody likes your candles. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is why we did this. This is. I'll tell you what, guys. When we when we found this house uh, out here in the country, when we moved down to Central Ohio, uh, we moved down here simply because Iron Lady got a job down here and I could pretty much cook anywhere I want uh, we were uh, at, at the time I wasn't cooking uh, but uh, we moved down here and uh, we found this place and had a little bit of acreage had I have three things that I need in my life on a piece of property and that is woods water and hills and I told her if as long as I can have two out of three I'm in good shape and uh, well, let's see. Jay Coy says, welcome to the Old Man Ronin Crew. Apparently, he just became a member. So we want to make a big uh, uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Coy there that we really, really appreciate I think that. we need to go back because... Okay, she needs to do some other stuff here. Come, read to me, baby. Read to me. Norse Hall, happy birthday to you, Ronan. Have a wonderful time, mate, and a few more drinks as well. Cheers. Hope you have many more to come. Safe riding. Thank you, Neil. We really appreciate it. Norse's name is Neil. And we really appreciate him. He's down in, uh, I think you're in Australia or New Zealand. Answer me again there, Neil. That way we can give you the proper, uh, the proper love. But uh, let's see. We've uh, we've got quite a few. Well, we've got several super chats, and we've got a new, I think, a new member on the YouTube channel. And that makes me extremely happy because the memberships on Patreon and YouTube help just as much, if not more, than the uh, than the super chats. That really means a lot to us. And I try to do a Friday update. Well. I say I try to. The last couple of weeks we were a little off because we weren't able to uh, get some of the Friday update. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. say welcome to the, the 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 crew. Let's see. I said find the bike that speaks to you. That's and that's that's all I try to speak to. You know, I don't care what it is. There's people that say you got to ride nothing but a Harley or you got to ride nothing but a BMW. Uh, I've never been that guy. I've I've had more Harleys in my life probably than most people have seen. I shouldn't say that. It's kind of. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I just had a lot of Harley Davidsons. We've got six, seven of them right now in the garage, and I do love Harley Davidson. But I'll tell you what. Ever since I jumped on that Himalayan and I took it for a test ride, and I, and I, people that know me know the story behind it. I uh, I had a guy contact me and say, Hey, I love your channel, and it was. I mean, I was riding Sportsters and in my in my soft tail deluxe and riding the Road King and riding uh, Iron Lady Sportster and I was doing the videos on them and, he, and I was talking about wanting to do the Trans America Trail and I was going to rebuild a Sportster into a Scrambler and he said uh, and I and I said I took the Sportster out there and rode it around the, the undisclosed location and the thing got so hot and I laid it down and I picked it back up and it was so heavy and I said man I'm going to start looking for something else and I was watching some YouTube channels and looking at KLRs and and then the uh, Himalayans, and, and then this guy contacted me and said, hey, I got a Himalayan that I'll sell you really cheap. I don't need any props on the channel. I just want to see you. I got 11 miles on the bike. It's a 2018. I, I don't ride it. I'm too, too short for it. Please, please, please take this bike and have fun with it. And I've never looked back. I've literally fallen in love with Royal Enfield. And to be honest with you guys, I love Royal Enfield as much, and if not just a little bit more, than my Harley Davidson's. I simply love the brand. 
Uh, I love all motorcycles, but Royal Enfield, they remind me of Harley when I was a kid. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, there was a couple dealers at home. One was called Freedom Harley up in Canton, and one was called H&M Harley down in Dover, Ohio. And uh, those guys, you'd walk in there, and back in those days, it wasn't rich people that were buying Harleys. It wasn't what we call rubs today. Rubs is rich urban biker. It was guys that, you know, and Harleys weren't, they, they were a little bit more than the, the, the Japanese bikes because uh, it, at that particular time, there were some tariffs and stuff put on them. But you, you could get into a Harley Davidson for about $4,000 back then. So it was something that the, the average blue collar worker could get into. And that's pretty much what it was, is a blue collar worker bike. And, uh, and the dealers, you walk in, they'd know who you were. Even if you didn't own one, even if you had a Honda, they'd still talk to you. And uh, it, it was just that kind of experience. Things have changed in that world. Royal Enfield's that way right now. You go up to Mid Ohio Power Sports, they spend time with you. You go over to Throttle Company, they spend time with you. These people love their motorcycles, and there's a reason why. They are easy to work on, they're accessible to the average working man, and they're freaking fun. And I've had more miles of smiles with Royal Enfield than I've had my Harleys in the last 20 years. And that's all I'll say. Well, catch me up, Iron Lady. Well, I've been answering people for you because you talk too damn much. This is why I love her. She gives me crap. If I can push somebody over, I'll push them over. But I love people who give me crap back. That's just the way it is. Don't give me no crap on the running run. Um, I'm, I hope I don't butcher your name. Aditya Bawar says, Happy birthday. He's been watching you for, or she, I'm so sorry, I don't know. Uh, for a year and a half. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you for being a subscriber. It, it means so much for 40 people watching. That's amazing. That means so much. Rubs, laughing my head. Never heard, you never heard that before? Yeah, well, that's because us old guys. Because <laughs> us old guys. Go, yeah, they're, they're, you know, this was well before, this was well before yuppies. Uh, it was rubs. Yeah. And I actually have a video. It's one of my very first videos. I said, is the reason why you love rubs and the reason why I said that is, uh, well, or I should say, the reason why I don't hate rubs is because uh, rubs keep motorcycle companies in business. And I always got a kick out of them because usually what it is is a guy just a little bit younger than me, say 40s and 50s, that just came out of a marriage and they want to meet chicks. And they, all they do is they run and they buy a Harley Davidson and they think it's going to, you know, they ride it for a little bit and then they realize that it's dangerous. <laughs> And, and you know, their new girlfriend that's 24 years old uh, says, oh, I want to settle down and have some children. They sell the bike. And those are the guys that I buy the bikes off of. <laughs> that's why I don't hate rubs. Because they keep the company in business. Because I can't afford a Harley now, a uh, brand new one. But, uh, I, you know, I can buy the used ones that's been taken fairly decent care of. And sometimes not so care of. But uh, that's the reason why I don't hate rubs. Uh, I, I will goof on them, but I won't hate them. Because, uh, I mean, they're still riding. They ride for a few years and they sell their bike. <laughs> Peter said, what? You guys are so great. Can't wait to see. That's fantastic, Pete. We can't meet, wait to meet you, too. Uh, speaking of which, back to the Ronin ride. After we get to Augusta, we're going to go to Beehive uh, Augusta Tavern, have lunch there. And then we're going to, after that, go on to the Augusta Distillery, which has been around since the uh, 1790s, which is impressive. We're going to do, do a barrel tasting. You, if you guys are gone, you have to make your own reservations there. Uh, I'm not going to do it for you because I'm not a rich guy. And it's $29, I think, for the barrel tasting. But there's a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be doing. That's at 4 o'clock. After that, we may go to Baker and Bird uh, Winery. Uh, or if you just want to go home, you can go. You can do it. Again, y'all adults, you can do what you want. Uh, I'm staying overnight. I'm going to be staying at the uh, Days Inn. Uh, over there in Maysville, Kentucky. It's kind of a cool little ride along the river to get over to Maysville. Uh, there's some places in Augusta if you want to stay, but man, expensive as heck. Um, I'm not paying that kind of money. Uh, uh, you can get fairly cheap rooms over in Maysville. It's kind of a, it, it, there's a bridge there between Maysville and, and Ripley, Ohio. And uh, man, when I was doing my fishing, I used to fish it down the high river down there all the time. And so I know that area pretty well. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go. Uh, is because I know the area pretty well and it's a lot of fun. Uh, next year will be someplace different, obviously. And again, we, we may change up to and have uh, bigger motorcycles, but I don't know. I, I kind of like the idea of doing a small bike ride 
we may do maybe two rides next year that we can include some of the other motorcycles as well too. Uh, Harley Day Rider said happy birthday. Thank you, brother. Jack, and we really appreciate you, man. And again, watch that video tomorrow. It's on the uh, it's on the uh, uh, stage one, the beginning of the stage one, part actually part one of the stage one upgrade on the uh, on the Himalayan. I think you get a kick out of that since you're a new owner of a Himalayan. Did and, you see Felix? He's from the Philippines. So no, Felix, you're from the Philippines. Again, welcome to the channel. What did you say? Happy birthday. Thank you, Felix. Really appreciate it. Much appreciated. We really, again, we really appreciate our uh, our uh, international uh, reach. We, I really love that. I mean, I, I've the la the video that's coming up. We've got a gentleman from Israel that uh, is a subscriber shout out. And guys, if you want to be featured as a subscriber on our channel, uh, either through Patreon, we give a mention on Patreon. We don't do the pictures, but the subscriber shout out. All you have to do is send me a picture with you and your bike. And uh, not just you, not just your bike, but you and your bike, and we make a subscriber shout out, and we love to call it uh, Old Man Ronin Crew Worldwide because that's what it is. Oh, and guys that are being uh, part of the uh, Ronin ride, you'll be getting a special Old Man Ronin Crew sticker for your motorcycle. Let's see, uh, Felix gave us some heart. Hey, brother, we again, we really do appreciate guys. Our international, you know, if, as long as you're riding two wheels, you're my brother or sister, and that's the way I feel about it. We really do love the fact that the, the two world the two wheel world is growing and i think I, you know i said this in a video a couple of months ago a couple of weeks ago that royal enfield uh is bringing more people into riding in america than pretty much any other brand uh i i know i know a lot of guys and gals that are riding royal enfields and it's their very first bike uh because number one they're affordable the warranty is freaking amazing uh, and the fact that it gets great gas mileage and then they can they can actually put their I don't want to say I don't use the term training wheels But re reality is they can get their feet wet in the motorcycling world and the fact with gas prices and the, the cost of everything They're all they're, they're kind of like the anti-inflation Motorcycle right now everything else has gone up and I'm sure Royal Enfield will go up a little bit too. However That motorcycle brand that you can get into let's I don't know again you, you, Sometimes dealers stack a lot of money on stuff. I don't know. That's not my business. But if you look at the MSRP on these motorcycles, anywhere from 6,500 on the 650s down, that's a great deal for a three-year warranty. And you're you're riding, man. And that's what's most important. Adventure 50 wants to know if it'd be okay to share his YouTube channel. Go for it, brother. No care. I, you know, again, you you got to do what you got to do. That's, Jack Winters, I'm 51, and Meteor is my first bike. Awesome, See, and that's what I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of guys are coming into the, the sport, and I guarantee you, man, even if you get another bike down the road, keep that Meteor, because you're going to love it for the rest of your life. He, he, we got to take our two older chihuahuas out before bedtime. Again, happy birthday, old man, rather than the best you both from Northern Kentucky. See you on the ride. Awesome. Okay, Pete, we'll see you later, brother. Thank you, and look forward to meeting you. Matthew, he said something there. Hoping to get a meteor one day, gonna be happy with my 22 on the PCS for now. Again, ride what you have, brother. And uh, like I said, Hondas, uh, we had, I've had several hard Hondas in my past too as well. In fact, when things got really tough for me and I had to sell some of our motorcycles, we were riding the CB650 for a couple of years and that's all we had. Keith Moore, happy birthday, Roman. Sorry, going back to bed, it's 2 a.m. here in Northern or North London, UK. I am so glad you, you stopped by, man, and uh, get to, get some sleep, brother. That way you can get a ride tomorrow. Well, any other questions on the road and ride? Then we're going to move on to uh, what's going to be happening next year or the next revolve around the sun. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be taking place in a few more things with Royal Enfield for sure. Uh, some new product reveals, that's for sure. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be test riding a lot of different bikes. Um, uh, one of the things that we're going to test ride, uh, it, or not one of the things, a couple of the things we're going to be test riding, we're going to be getting into some Triumphs uh, and riding some of them uh, because I've had a couple of Triumphs and Nortons and I want to go back and, and see how I feel now about them because I haven't had I haven't had a Triumph. Well, I take that back. We had the Speedmaster and we sold it in what, 2017? Yeah. 2017. Uh, the, and I tell you what, I love that bike. Uh, the Speedmaster was at that particular time kind of a Harley clone, uh, but man, was it a fun motorcycle. I really did enjoy that 900cc engine, just a little under 900. I really did like that bike. 
uh, we sold it. Uh, I would. Uh, I think what we're going to do is probably going to ride a T100 or a T120, maybe a Thruxton and uh, possibly a Speed Twin. Those are the ones that are available to me right now. So we're going to be. Uh, those are the ones I'm going to look at. I, I want to get on a Tiger. Uh, CF Moto's been asking me to ride a few more of their bikes, and I know there's a lot of hate on China right now, but I, I don't care about the politics. I just want to ride motorcycles. And we're also going to be doing some other stuff with Kawasaki and Yamaha and uh, other brands as well, too. Uh, hopefully some uh, uh, Moto Guzis down the road, too. What did uh, Keith say? Happy birthday, Ron. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Jason? I'm sorry, Okay. In the Philippines, it's in the morning, and I said, "Day drinking." He said, "Philippines ain't messing around." Yeah. PI baby, PI. I don't know if they call that anymore. That's kind of an old man type of thing to call the Philippines a PI. I don't know. They still do that. Yeah. No, maybe that's not a nice thing. Yeah, it is. It's a PI. The Philippines. It was a the military connotation for the Philippines. You went to the PI. Answer me. Is that is that a derogatory statement? I don't know. Uh, two wheels says, sorry, I'm late to the party. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you, two wheels. Are you a day rider? Do you feel the Himalayan 450 is coming out in 2023? Um, possibly. I know they're, they're testing the snot out of stuff over there. There's a lot of bikes coming. The Roland Field promised one every quarter. COVID kind of shot things down a little bit, but they're going to be doing a new model every quarter. Uh, I, I think they're getting back on the program. I have no inside information. Uh, I, 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 I would I, put it this way. If I knew, I would probably be sworn to secrecy, but I don't know. So I'm not going to say anything, yay or nay. I do know that the, the, the releases are that they're going to release a new motorcycle every quarter, probably from now on. Uh, the supply chain issues are messing stuff up, obviously. COVID messed everything up worldwide. But the reality of it is uh, they're going to try to do as many as they possibly can. Let's see, uh, Adventure 50 said Iron Lady. Oh, she's talking to you. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Whose channel is this? He wants to know if it's okay to share the YouTube channel. And you said yes already. Yeah, yeah. man, share it, brother. I don't care. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, Sonny Pruitt. Do it like Sonny Pruitt. How's that? So what's going to happen next year? Well, we've already talking about, and I'm going to use next year based upon my birthday, the next trip around the sun. We're going to be doing the Ronin retreat in the fall. And what it's going to be, like I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, is we're going to be going to a specific camp, camping area and then expand them on that. We'll do a little bit of day riding, check out some trails, check out some. Uh, and again, it's going to be more of an ADV style thing. Uh, the Himalayan, in particular, the Himalayan specific. Guys, I'm telling you. Uh, if you haven't test rode one of those, get out there and test ride one. They are so much fun. They they brought that bike has brought more joy to me probably in the last well since I've had it two and a half years than any other motorcycle I had in my garage for the last 50, 40, 50. Well, I've been riding. How long have I been riding? Since I was 14 on Harley Davidsons, and that is well 14, 15. Thank I've been riding off. 50 years on on, on the road. What's that? I said, take your shoes off. Take my shoes off, start counting. <laughs> got, got to get that right. I have to get my whistle and right and start talking about how many times I've been around this sun. But uh, we uh, we uh, we really enjoy what the Royal Enfield has brought, in particular the Himalayan. Like I say, it's the reason for this channel anymore. Uh, but more than that, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in this winter time. We're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing some trips down south. Uh, I, 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 I'm at the point in my life right now that I've got more years behind me than ahead of me. And that means that I'm, and I was talking to my sisters about this today. They, they, we were talking about it. Maybe less than he knows. What's that? I said maybe less than he knows. <laughs> maybe. Anyways. <laughs> what? If I die tomorrow, guys knows it was her. Uh, but we, what I'm trying to get at is, uh, uh, I'm going to start doing more stuff. I just have to because I there's places I need to get back to. There's places I need to go, and uh, we're going to start doing that as much as we possibly can. It's uh, it, there's some adventures that I want to take. I, I want to do the El Diablo run again. Um, I think it's 2023 because it was in 2021, and the El Diablo run uh, is basically from Temecula, California, down to San uh, San Felipe in Mexico. 
and uh, and then back around. It's just a big ass party. It's kind of a more of a traditional uh, biker kind of thing. Um, I I don't go to rallies anymore because it's begun. It's it's. I, uh, and they've lost, they lost me. I haven't been to Sturgis since the early 2000s. It just, I just don't care anymore. You know, it's, uh, you know, we used to go all the, all the time and it was more of us, a bunch of us old guys sitting around drinking beer and talking stories and swapping crap. And now it's just basically a... DNA. Exactly. <laughs> and that's cool when you're 12. 20. Or 20. Uh, Chad Lenders. I figure if I had a bigger bike than the Meteor, I'd be going the same speed but spending more in gas and having less fun. Nail on the head, brother. Uh, no, I think it's just different fun. I don't think it's less fun because the bigger bike is fun too. Well, you got a point there. I mean, I, 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 had, a, I had a lot of fun on that Versus. Uh, I, I mean, it, you talk about something that you crack a throttle hard and that front wheel's up off the ground. And again, I... I try not to show that stuff on the videos. It's not that I don't do it. It's just I don't try to show it uh, because I don't. I don't want to look like an idiot. Number one, I, I'm not a wheelie guy. Um, I, you know, it's it's one of those type of things that when I was a kid, yeah, we did that. One of the things that got me into motorcycling when I was really young was uh, riding dirt bikes like that. And then we, I had a neighbor that had. Uh, that had <laughs> What's that? I'm reading these comments. <laughs> Jason laughed almost spit out his beer when I said T. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. But you know, the uh, he would do wheelie up and down the road all the time. It was a gravel road. And, you know, it, it, man, when I was seven, eight years old, I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome. Even though I had my dirt bike, and I, every time I tried to do wheelie, I'd usually <laughs> over backwards. Uh, you know, get whiskey throttle, and that was all she wrote until I learned how to do it. But again, it's not me anymore, and it, it really never was. That's never been my style. Jason also wants to know your thoughts on the Scram. I don't know. I've never ridden one. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be in here in this country. Uh, maybe sooner than later. Uh, I mean, they just introduced, usually what it is, is six months after they introduce it uh, in Europe, it comes here. Uh, so, I mean, because everything's about supply chain. Once it introduces in Europe, it goes boom. And everything that they make goes there. And then it starts to slow down a little bit, and then they can introduce it to another region. It's kind of sad for us guys, particularly us guys that are uh, really, uh, you know, really preach Royal Enfield. Is you know, you're seeing all these YouTube channels. These guys are getting bikes six months before we do. It's like, come on, man, come on, man. But we can't do anything about it because that's just the way the world works. But when we get one. Uh, to ride, and we will ride one as, well. as soon as they're available in the United States. You'll see old man Ronan on a Scram 411, uh, and then we'll see how she rides. Uh, how do you think? I, how do I think it'll do? There's a lot of guys that are, are, uh, ride the Motards, and so I think that uh, that'll be a big bike for them. The Motard uh, uh, aspect of biking is is right there next to the Hooligans, and so those guys are. Those guys are going to be wanting that bike too, more than anything else. What did what did uh, Sven say? Sorry for being late. No problem, Sven. And greetings. I seen you from Germany, correct? Yeah. Again, welcome, brother. Adventure fifty, just acknowledge him. Yeah, that's what. No, I don't see what he said. Complains about the torque and not eight horsepower. Ha! See, I know what HP is. It does, uh, and, and one of the things about it uh, is the fact that, uh, uh, it, it, and I'll tell you what, man, you do the stage two, it opens up that torque even more. <laughs> I, I had you got to see the goofy grin on my face because I know what that thing will do now, and it just it just opens it up so much. Stage one upgrade. It's fun, and I'll tell you what. Again, go to my Instagram page. There's a little blurb on there where you can hear the the uh, the, uh, the the throttle note, or I should say the exhaust note on it, and it sounds freaking amazing. It uh, the bike sounds great now. I mean, it's not overly loud. I'll tell you that right now. But you lose that tinny sound on the what the Himalayan has been known for. You like the Honda makes. Like a what? Like the Honda makes. Yeah, like a Honda makes. <laughs> you don't hear that Honda noise anymore. She said it, not me. Hey, we have one. I'm allowed to say it. This is true. Well, we had, I've had more than one, but she's, she's had one, the 650, basically. But long story short, 
the stage two or stage one, excuse me, really opens it up. Stage two would be doing a cam and everything else. We're not going to do any of that stuff. I was going to do a TEC cam, but uh, they, they promised me one, and all of a sudden they said, well, uh, uh, you know, and again, Old Man Room is cheap, son of a gun. Uh, it just is what it is. And they started, they said, well, we, we can't really afford to give you one. And I said, well, I can't really afford to put one in the bike then. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a rich guy, guys. I mean, that's just the way it is. Rich guy, guys? I mean, we have fake candles for goodness sake. Yeah, that's right. We have fake candles for goodness sake. <laughs> So he went and forgotten my joke. Oh, anyway. anyway. Uh, Ray Fisher, I was planning on doing the run and ride on my classic 500, but I don't know if I can make it. If I don't make it, everyone have a good time. Why don't you, why can't you make it? Asking that. I think he can hear you. Oh, again. Okay. Why can't you make it? <laughs> Jason says three in Germany. Not sure what more, what, and lost it, faded on me. What did he say? Well, first of all, let's, let's go back. Okay, she's going to go back. Holy shit. Happy birthday, buddy. Just installed the seat concept seat on my 2021 Himalayan. What an improvement. Love your channel. Thanks for your information. Cheers, brother. Thank you. And uh, like I say, let, let us know down the road. What do you think of that seat concepts? Jason Walker, 15 a.m. in Germany. Not sure what's more impressive, Felix or Sped. <laughs> He's keeping track of what. Do you have a clock like with all the times of mm -hmm. all the countries in the world? Because that's no. you're keeping track of all that, Jason. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michael Ellis says you meet the nicest people on Honda. This is true. Ah, that's that old ad for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know. I, 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 I guess you, you do. I mean, you know, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead. Michael King, happy birthday, dude. Found Thank you, Michael. Found your channel. Really like it a lot. Oh, appreciate that, man. You know, I watched the videos that I was in. <laughs> <laughs> so probably... Probably did, because Iron Lady has a way to inter interject herself in pretty much every conversation, if you can't tell this. So, hell, I think she's got more people talking to her than they are to me. I think I have some comedy, I think This is true. Let's see, what else we got going? Michael's laughing. He says, I had one of those. What did you have? Uh, Probably a Honda? Oh, yeah. Well, everybody had one. It's like a, you know, fat ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh, he had a wife. <laughs> I, I did too. Sorry, I, <laughs> I, I got a kick out of people, the guys that always say, yeah, my wife won't let me have a bike. I want to go, <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Pick a chick that loves to ride before you ever <laughs> go anywhere else. That's what you need to do. Family stuff. I'm trying to get out of it. Can't live with them. Can't kill them. Well, you could. You can. You just need a good alibi. Yeah, that's right. Shovel you, and a bag of wine. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm getting me. scared for myself now. <laughs> what the hell? Call me. I might have some in my, the trunk of my car. No, I'm Dang, yeah, if you don't hear from Old Man Rona next week. <laughs> no alibis. No alibis. Uh, I, may be, I may be back in the undisclosed location, buried in a lime pit. <laughs> I watch too many crime dramas. I will get away with it. Why do you watch crime dramas? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm afraid. Not so much. You good out by the Oh, two wheel Hepcat. I haven't seen you for a while, brother. Hey, thanks. I think you made a comment before. Oh well, I can't. you gotta read these to me. I can't see crap. You need to stop talking. I end my YouTube videos by saying life is short. Get out and ride. That's true, and that's the way you should. I mean, buy you know, the damn bike. Buy the damn bike, or and that's the shoes the, or the handbag. Well, yeah, you you can buy the shoes. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy the bike, but yeah, I mean, guys. Take candles. You know, I. I I, I, I probably should I probably should film every time I ride. It's just that the, you know I, I've had a lot of problems with GoPros and weather. You guys know that I went to Virginia and it messed my stuff up. I mean I lost all kind of footage. I lost a bunch of footage just yesterday when I was doing some filming. I took a Chad. Oh my God, Chad! Thank you, brother. You are. Oh my goodness. You are. I'll get back to my story in a minute, but guys. I'm gonna go throw up in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Chad, you are. That's amazing. You are, you, you, so you know, you are, you are without a doubt the biggest fan of the channel, and I, I love you as much as a guy can love another guy. Well, not in this world, but back in one of the fifties and sixties, I really do appreciate you. You have no idea, and thank you. you th this stuff helps us so much on the channel. Yes. You have no idea. Thank you. Cheers, brother. And you need to bring Megan down sometime, brother. And uh, you know, you're coming down Friday night. Call me. 
You got my number. Call me before you get in town. If you come down Thursday, I'll be working at Granville Brewing with my food truck. So anybody gets in Thursday, I'll be there from five to eight. Anyways, uh, what I was getting at before, uh, Chad's, in, God love you, brother. Thank you. Everybody give Chad a round of applause. I want to see some clapping noises on there on the channel. So I really want to do that. It means so much. But what I was getting, well, I don't even know what the fuck, I, excuse me. I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. That's all right. I think I've said just about every word. On I know. This, so you're I know. not getting monetized on this I've been, video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you said not getting monetized on this uh, video. But, uh, you know, here's the deal, guys. Um, what was I going with that? Chad, you messed me up. <laughs> I don't care, though. Uh, but uh, He doesn't get choked up very often. I don't get choked up very often. Nothing, nothing you know, I, I, I once in a while get confused because I'm old and shit. But uh, the reality of it is this stuff means so much to us on our small little channel that when you guys do stuff like that, it just hits us right in the heart because we know that we're doing something right. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of people, when I started the food truck, well, your kind of food won't work in a food truck because people don't want to wait. And dang on it, it worked. When people tell me that, you know, your kind of videos don't work because they want to see either girls or they want to see, you know, all this technical stuff. Well, that's not me. What I am is I want to tell you how I feel about motorcycles because I think that's more important. Uh, when it boils down to it, it's not how many horsepower, it's not how much torque, it's not how much, uh, you, know, uh, the, you know, it's not the numbers. It's how the bike makes you feel. And if you have a great feeling on a Honda 90 trail, man, more power to you. The same thing is true if you're on a freaking VMAX or you're on a FXR or insert your favorite brand or Rocket 3. Whatever makes you happy and whatever makes you feel the best, as long as you're out there riding and enjoying yourself, that's what I care about. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap about anything else. Just ride, man, and enjoy the bike and enjoy the lifestyle. And the lifestyle is this. It's not the girls. It's not the rallies. It's the win. And that's what's important. All right, catch me up. Okay, hang on. Philip Sears, happy birthday. Thank Ray, you, brother. Really enjoying the channel and your Royal Enfield reviews. Thank you. And, and, you know, it's one of the things that... Uh, uh, Royal Enfield is a big part of this channel for obvious reason because we really love the brand now. There's Michael no question. King, I'm a bit drunk, came from the bar with some buddies, and this is a pleasant surprise. Woohoo! I said, welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the same thing, brother. We're doing the same he thing. He wants to know, also wants to know what type of food you're cooking in your food truck on Thursday. On Thursday, I will have pastrami, German franks, shrimp rolls, and yeah, classic dogs. And the classic dogs, German Franks and pastrami, I make myself. The shrimp rolls, I do get the shrimp flown into me. Then I prepare them and put them in a lobster roll style bun. And people say that it's better than any lobster roll they've ever had. That's all. Awesome. Stewart. <laughs> nice hat, he says. <laughs> Hi, Stewart. Stewart's here. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. He's complimenting your hat. Yeah, well, he would. He probably wears stuff like this every day. Down there. <laughs> Mardi Gras land down there in Louisiana. I can say something, but this is a family channel. Yeah, it's not a family channel. <laughs> oh, it's not? <laughs> I, I mean, and I, I try not to fly, throw out the F-bomb too much because if I do, I try to beep it because it, you will get demonetized and that hurts. <laughs> Stuart says, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That's just who he is. Hey. I, 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 I got to know, Stuart. Are you coon ass, Cajun, or Creole? Oh, I need to not say anything. Uh, I'm Michael, just <laughs> Michael King says, that's a deli food truck. Hey. Nice job, except for the shrimp. Okay, that's a little too much alcohol, Michael. Yeah, yeah here's the deal. <laughs> the reason why we're doing it this week, we're doing those particular foods, is because I'm only working Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> And then I'm off because we're going on the Ronin ride. I can't get too specific and too. And the shrimp is main false. Just yeah. saying. It. It's we, uh, any lobster roll you've ever had in your life. At what she said. But the reason why we're doing that is because we, I can't keep the stuff to the next week. So what I don't sell, thrown out. Everything in our truck is fresh. So. <laughs> and Stuart says he's Irish. Irish. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Irish. <laughs> whatever, dude. 
Um, let's see. Avenger 50. Fast is a feeling. Speed's just a number. Go fast always. Safety. I, I'm, I'm adding safety third. Safety third. Anyways, what was the next one? Somebody... Uh, Michael King. He's laughing. I cook for fun. My passion is Texas barbecue. Yeah, you know what? And they, if you've been, whereabouts in Texas do y'all live? Or, or don't you live in Texas? Because if you, if you want good, my favorite barbecue in Texas is Franklin. I don't know if you've ever been down there. But man, those guys, I think San Antonio, if I'm not mistaken, that yeah, freaking awesome. Texas is the best for brisket. He's a northerner, he says. Oh, he's a Yank? Okay. He's been to Franklin. Oh, he has been to Franklin? Austin. Austin, Austin that's right. Yeah, okay. had to think about it for a second. Again, beer fog and wine fog. We may have to break out some bourbon. I just poured some more shit well, wine. <laughs> she poured it on me. <laughs> What can I say? You call it shit wine. It's delicious. Whatever. Yeah, it he is. He says he loves Franklin barbecue in Austin. And he's had four old fashions. Lightweight. <laughs> this girl here. <laughs> my sister's birthday. How long ago? How long it, was ago? When, it was when I first met your sister. Right. My sister turned, I think, 50. 50. Yeah. And, uh. <laughs> And uh, we, were, we, were, we were sitting around, and I ordered Jameson for the table. And because uh, that's one of my, when I drink Irish whiskey, I like either, well, Bushmills, Jameson, you know, it is what it is. But Jameson's kind of like a, a go to Irish whiskey because much most bars have it. And so I ordered a bunch of Jameson shots and stuff like that. And uh, I'm, you know, I said, my sisters and stuff, they, and all their friends are all around. And uh, there was four still sitting there. Because they were all being a bunch of pussies and not drinking their drinks. <laughs> So Iron Lady says, I'll take them. Pop, 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 pop. I, I, did, I did four of them, one right after the next. Yeah, she, she, she can handle her booze when she wants to. It just is what it is. Just the next day is not so much fun. <laughs> Actually, that, that time, I, it was fine. Yeah. I don't know why, for whatever reason. But anyway. Anyhow. Yeah. But yeah. She, uh, this is a motorcycle <laughs> channel. This is a motorcycle channel. It's a drinking channel. <laughs> I may have something. What do I have? We're... Do you know if Randall's Brewing is having food Friday night? Yes, they will have food. It's a place called... Uh, uh, see, I have no control when I'm not there. Um, it's uh, it's kind of like a, a, a an Asian bowl type thingy. Think of Chipotle with Asian oh, food. it's probably like a... Unibowl, Unibowl. I don't know what it's called. I'll think of it. Um, I don't know. Pokey? Yeah, Poke Bowl. I think it's Pokey, but without being raw. I think that's what it is. Uh, I don't know. I, again, I can't pick when I'm not there. Uh, they actually never had food trucks before I started going there, and that's why I can lock in every Wednesday and Thursday uh, because they love me. Uh, and it's a great little place, man, if you've never been there. I know Andy's been there. Blaine's been there. Blaine knows the owners real well. They're, they're good people. Uh, they, it, it's a cool little place, and it's out in the country a little bit. Uh, you got they got a nice patio. We're going to film inside, but you're not restricted there. I'm probably going to do a live stream. I haven't decided. This seems to be working pretty well. So we're probably going to do a live stream there. So you guys, uh, and I'll have a, a, another spare microphone like what Iron Lady's wearing, but I'll have it on like a stick. So we're going to, you guys, uh, unless you have like a criminal background, you want to be on camera, we'll be sticking the microphone in your face and, and having you introduce yourself on that day too as well. What's Jason say? Help, Send I put... me a message on the DL if you need a shovel and a bag line. <laughs> Jason said something there. It looked like a pretty long message. Uh, let's go back because Stuart says, Wooling, Texas, best brisket. Haven't had that one. Go Michael ahead. King loved the Royal Enfield reviews, by the way, and the Versus review. Hey, thank you, Michael. Appreciate it, brother. All right. Now, Jason. Now, Jason. Help. Oh, Jesus. He needs help. Okay. I put new handlebars on my 83 and had to extend cables. Yes. <laughs> you will have to do that. I'm laughing because we just did that to my daughter. Right. Yes, we did. Oh, my God. What a disaster that was. <laughs> Always good for a week, then brake light and turns able to stay on 100% of the time. Occasionally, speed up goes dead. What did I do wrong? Well, uh, here, here's the deal. Did you, did, did you extend your cables, number one? Number two, did you, uh, when you put your, uh, when you put your, uh, um, when you, did you say you changed, did you say you changed the bars? He put new piano bars on his 883. Usually what happens. And he extended the cable. Usually what happens when you extend the cable and you don't put your, one of the most common things when you're changing handlebars is that little brake switch in, in your front brake uh, snaps and that'll keep the brake light on all the time. Uh, that's probably what it is. As far as your, you say speedo, sounds like a pinched wire. 
And if you, occasionally the speedo goes dead. The speedo, the, as far as the speedometer or the lights? That's what you have to ask. But uh, I would say for sure, you probably broke the little switch inside the uh, front brake. It's, it's, it's just a little button. And when, it's, uh, when the brake is off, it, uh, it's out. And if you snap it off, then it's out all the time and the brake lights will stay on. Ask me how I know, because <laughs> that shit happens all, excuse me, that stuff happens all the time, uh, particularly when you're changing bars and you've never done it before. Uh, that little, that little, and they're not expensive, but they're a pain in the ass to get to, and you have to really watch when you're putting those in. I did a, uh, I did a video on uh, 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 M's bike. Her, I put the uh, ape hangers on her Sportster uh, uh, 883 low. You should watch that video. Uh, but uh, uh, my problem was the guy that had it before had some other smaller apes on it that he cut the wires and replaced it with just non-colored wires. And my God, what a disaster. I literally had to rewire the entire front of the motorcycle. Uh, but as far as the Speedo going out not having any speed, uh, that's down on the tire. And you may, uh, did you extend the cable for your speedometer or not? I mean, that's the question you, you have to ask because this thing, anytime you put... But the speedometer should be in the same place unless you rose it up too. Did you? Again, I don't know what kind of bars you had. Did you? Did you put risers on it that were taller, or did you just put the handlebars that were taller? I mean, that, that, it's a couple different things. I don't know that you're gonna have to explain to me. Harley's man, I got it down pat, but I have to know what it is. Okay, Stewart City Market, Luling, Texas. That's where the barbecue is. Apparently, we'll have to go there. Emily Sanchez, happy birthday, Ronan, and greetings from New Mexico. Hey, Emily, thank you, and welcome to the channel. She Emily. has a random question. What's your favorite genre of music and why? Oh, Ooh, man. You, 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 you hit the wrong guy. I don't have a favorite genre of music. My tastes go everything from 40 swing all the way to Akon, man. I, I love everything. I, uh... I don't like uh, gangster rap. That's one thing I don't like because I I'd rather hear singing. I don't want to hear talking. If I want to hear talking. I listen to myself. But as far as uh, <laughs> we just get paid more for that. If we just get paid, no, I can't. Man, my voice sucks. <laughs> I am not a singer. My boys are. My boys are great singers. Not me. He's not a singer. You don't want to hear him. Sing. But the uh, reality of it is, I really. I, I mean, I love heavy metal. Metallica is one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, I love the really old stuff. I'm not a Beatles guy. Uh, if you have to go to 60s early rock, I like... Uh, Stevie uh, Dan. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, no Michael McDonald. Michael we don't McDonald. Do, no, we don't do Michael everybody's McDonald. everybody's favorite singer. No, he's Michael. not. No, 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 no. Michael McDonald. <laughs> Screwed up Doobie Brothers more than anything else. <laughs> Anyways, but no, I, uh, I, like, uh, I like a lot of swing. I like a lot of jazz. I love heavy metal. I love blues. I love R&B. I mean, we listen to everything except for gangster rap and Steely Dan. That's yeah, Steely Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yacht rock music. Sometimes I like a little bit of yacht rock, but mostly it's as long no Christopher Cross, no Steely Dan. What's that other idiot? That's all like? yacht rock place. I know. What's the other idiots I don't care for? I don't know. Uh, those guys. No, no, we don't want any of that kind of music. I love, uh, you know, I love biker music. Uh, there's some really independent bands that are fantastic. That I love to listen to. I have a lot of I have a lot of love for music, but I just ain't good at it. I play the guitar used to, until my hands couldn't work anymore. Go ahead. What's next? She agrees with you on rap. Yeah, there you go. But uh, it's fun. so Jason says you guys rock. Thank you. I'll look for that video. All right, brother. Hey, again, Jason. Uh, like I said, I, I need to know more information. Uh, send me pictures to my email, oldmanronan at gmail .com, and let me take a look at stuff, and maybe I can figure some like, moody you know, blues. Time it is in Mexico, New Mexico. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, he, I need that clock that you're looking at. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm ready to entertain them going back. <laughs> Philip Sears, any advice for a relatively new old man rider? I haven't ridden in a long time, but you've inspired me. I want to eventually back road travel across the U.S. What's your advice? My advice on man? that is pick a bike that you're extremely comfortable with at first. Uh, set it up the way that you want to do it and just do it. That's going to be the best thing I can tell you. It's fine. I mean, you know, the, the, you have to have the bike that you're comfortable with more than anything else. Did I freeze up here on my... Uh, I don't think so. There I am. No, it's just delayed on the TV. It's delayed on the TV because I walked up here. But, yeah, I mean, there, there are certain routes that you need to take that are kind of historic. Uh, the, uh, wh wh where is he from? 
Ask him where he's from. You can ask him where he's from. Okay, that's right. You can hear me. <laughs> is that how this works? I'm not sure how this works. But uh, the reality of it is, is, is uh, uh, where are you from? What does he say? Central Florida. Okay. Well, number one, you need to, you need to practice. I mean, this is going to sound terrible if you're a new writer in particular. And this is going to sound terrible. It's not meant to be a crack. You need to get on some of the roads uh, out there that have some curves. I know it's difficult, but ride a lot of on ramps and off ramps that have the clover leaves. I'm not kidding you because you, what you want to do is you want to be able to maintain some good corners. Uh, you, you need to get your cornering down more than anything else. Once you get your cornering down and you start to go other places, like if you leave if you leave Florida and you head north e northwest. Go through Alabama and some of those places up near Coleman, Alabama, and all those mountainous areas in, in Alabama. Some beautiful roads up there, man. And just pick a place you want to go. Oh, you know what's cool is uh, the Natchez Trail, which is not too... I mean, you could go over there and hit the Natchez Trail and run all the way up into Tennessee and stuff like that. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, there's lots of places to go. Northern, northern Georgia. I mean, for me, the curvy roads is what it's all about, or the twisties. Yellow. No, she likes yellow. I'm not a big I yellow fan. Like yellow. Yeah, I'm not a big yellow also fan. Like, um, Black Keys. They're they're low fans. I, I'll tell you what. Uh, getting the music real quick before we go back onto some of these curvy roads and stuff. To me, that's the most fun. Now, some guys like to munch miles on the highway. That's uh, never been me. I've done it. Uh, I mean, I like I said when I was on my big long ride when I was young. I mean, I did everything on the interstates. But to be honest with you, I really, really, really prefer riding secondary roads and curvy roads just because it's about the journey, not the destination. And that's one of the things. Pick a place you want to go and want to see and then find the curviest roads. Calimoto, man. Get that Calimoto app or the River app, either one of those two apps, and, and pick a destination and then pick a route and then find the roads, either twisty, curvy, straight there, however you want to do it and then follow their directions if you don't know the roads. And you'll have some fun. That's, that's pretty much all I can say. Those places, those things are great for places you've never been before. And the reason I know that is because uh, I used it several times in the last couple of months, or weeks, I should say. And uh, it's really shown me some stuff I didn't even know was around, even in my own area. So that's something to try out as well, too. But uh, did he, I see some comments, did he say thank you on it? Um, I'm, I'm back up at Two Wheel Hub Cat, I need to ride down from Michigan, how far is the border, uh, how far from the border is your food truck? From the border? Well, we're, we're in Ohio. You mean, you mean from Ohio? Yeah, uh, from Michigan. Well, if you run, if you're, if you're from Michigan, you're probably going to run down 33, or 23, excuse me. 23 from Toledo to Delaware is probably two and a half, three hours, another hour from that, so about four hours. I reckon. Chad, stick your nose in there and tell them how far it is from Michigan to uh, uh, about where we're at, brother, uh, if you're still on here. Because he would know. He just did it like a couple weeks ago. Harley Day Rider, happy birthday again. Have a great and safe trip and meet up, ride safe. Neville DaCosta, happy birthday. And it's my birthday, too. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, man. Hey, Christopher Trout, I just seen something pop up, brother. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate that. Again, guys, the super chats, the super thanks to mean so much to this channel and so much to me, particularly on my birthday. This has been, woohoo! That's all I can say. Get up here, Carrie. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm reading everyone's comments that you're skipping. Thank you, Christopher. I really appreciate you. Maybe I should put my hat back like that. Oh, it's falling off my head. I, I look like one of them there, Nefertiti there. No, I don't. I look like an idiot. We really do appreciate it, guys. That is, means so much. But uh, like I said, Chad, you still on here? Uh, like I said, uh, tell him how long it would be to get from the, the Ohio state line to, uh, to uh, our part of Ohio. Because he asked. He, he's in Michigan, too. He wants to know how long it would take to get from, uh, let's say, uh, right there at Sylvania down here to our area. Thanks again, man. I really appreciate it, Christopher. That means so much. Really, really fun tonight, man. I really have no idea. Any other questions? I mean, we're going to keep going as long as you guys want to keep going. This is a lot of fun. About four and a half hours. That's what I figured. Something like that. 
Oh, Good. Yeah. Noiseful joy. Happy birthday. I may need to get a couple beers to get comfortable with you and that hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she put it on me. Yeah, yeah. it's his birthday. Yeah, I got to look like an idiot. We do the, you know, like I said, I, I think my two favorites uh, from live streams to do is the New Year's Eve and this one here. You know, unfortunately, when we moved down here uh, to this part of Ohio, all of our friends are back in Northeast Ohio. So most of the people we have that are our closest friends are at least, what, two and a half hours away. So they, uh, they made our calls and made their loves on us earlier in the day. But the reality of it is, you know, we're kind of down here on our own. We don't really know a whole lot of folks down here. And one of the reasons why the, the YouTube channel is so important to us is because we get a chance to have and meet new people, uh, not necessarily in our, you know, in our area, but all worldwide. And that makes me happy. I live in Columbus. Wife is from... Dearborn, Michigan, it's usually three and a half hours. Well, she was probably saying, if you're talking about Columbus, yeah, we're, we're about an hour from Columbus. So that, that's going to do the, the ciphering. But we're, we're east. So that's what I mean. Yeah, we're, yeah I yeah. guess it would be a little longer. Yeah, it'd be a little longer. It's about an hour long, which you could, you know, Chad literally just did it the other day. He, he said it's about four and a half hours. Right, from right. So that's, that's so about that's it. That's where he's from. Well, I said the high line down to us. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a poke, but once you poke, you're good. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I don't mean that. <laughs> Where's your head at? I'm just saying stuff like <laughs> so, munching and poke. You're mild munching. I hate that. That's what it is when you're. You know those people that say they hate the word moist. Well, I hate the word munching. What the hell is that mild munching? That means you're driving a lot of miles. Ugh. You can tell her, guys. You're Molly Hatchet. Yeah, you got it, brother. That's it. Molly Hatchet, Blackfoot. There's a band down in, in Jacksonville that I used to love called Rambler. And uh, they, they never made it big, but man, I'll tell you what, I really love their music. They have a song called, uh, I think it's called Alcohol Man. Oh, I really enjoyed that song. That was a good song. Stuart said, or not, Stuart said something there. Yeah, he thinks we're cool. We are cool. I'm cool. We're cool. We're, we think we're cool. <laughs> Well, she's semi cool. Christopher says Google Maps. With, okay, lost it. Because every time uh, I look at it, says 169 miles from Sylvania to Newark. There you go. That's to where we're at. We don't live in Newark. Um, let's ask Jason what time it is there. Maybe he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what's your clock say, honey? <laughs> He's got his clock running on all the cities. <laughs> Well, we still got 33 people watching, which is awesome, man. I'm really enjoying it. This has been a fun time. What do you say? Uh, I can't exactly. see. Exactly. NERC. N-E-R-K. Yes, -E right. N-E-R-K-A-H-I-A. NERC. NERC. A high. That's what's up. If you don't say it like that, when you're, when you're out here, you, will, you look that funny. You look that funny. Because it is NERC. A high. A high. But it, it, up home, it's a high, too. <laughs> it, it ain't NERC, because we didn't live there. No. But no, I'm from Akron, so she's from I, I kind of have the A, like the, the she got Mich a, Michigan. I have uh, relatives in Michigan too, so we kind of A when we say her. She got to drag her A's like across the road and down the <laughs> down the hill and the holler and everything else. I don't do that. I'm from Northeast. I'm from T County, Tuscarawas County, and we talk about like this here. And I Not try me. to lose it. No. I try to lose it a little bit, but sometimes it just comes on back. And but I talk fast. I do do that. I do do. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, any other questions you have? Again, I get back to what's going on in the future. Not only more bike reviews. I hate to use the term reviews, but do I not do do? <laughs> I know, right? I, I, more bike feelings. Feelings. More bike feelings of how they make me feel. But also, we're going to be doing some trips. Uh, I'm thinking about heading to Florida in October as well, too. Uh, I, I've got, I'm pushing it in my head. There's a part of me that wants to go and a part of me that doesn't want to go. Um, we always go to Florida in December. Well, I shouldn't say always. We haven't since COVID. But Last we, time we were there was February. Yeah, was, I know. But I like, to go in, I like to go in December and I like to go in February to get out of the... Because sometimes the ice is just too much here. Let's see. Jason says, I met my wife in Michigan. She thought I sounded Southern. <laughs> I, I know, right? We ain't Southern here in Ohio. Let's see. From Seneca to Cuyahoga Falls. Cuyahoga Falls. I love Cuyahoga Falls. You know what they used to, No, I'm not going to do that. 
No. I shouldn't say no, that. No, you should not. <laughs> There's another name for Kyle. I mean, even I know what, what you're going to say. No. Please don't. Anyway. <laughs> it's not that way anymore. It's not that way anymore. <laughs> Things have changed. Things have changed. Incredible. What's it say? To ride to the Dumbo Coaster. Now, I, I, you know, no, I don't go to Disney. That's not me. I'm not a, I'm not I a mouse. I was at Disney when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, it's good for children. Hey, I was also born in Akron. Does that make us an acrophobia? Acronisms, <laughs> yes. And what's, what, do you, what do you say then? How is the Rio Grande, Ohio pronounced? Red Grandy. I don't know. I, just I don't know. We're not from down there. But it, that's where Bob Evans is originally from. Now they're in Columbus. Oh, Chad Winters. Woo-hoo. Thank you, brother. Thank Woo-hoo. you so much. We really appreciate it. Everybody give Chad a round of applause. Get up here, huh? Oh, yes. I got you. Got a drink. Got a drink. Thank Cheers. You. We really appreciate it. And my hat's falling off. I got to take it off. <laughs> I'm going to leave mine on because I look it's like your goofy. your birthday. Boy. i got to leave it on because I'm goofy looking. Let's see. Oh, my God. We could go for hours on Ohio pronunciation. <laughs> we yes. could. I mean, it is what it is because it changes. I mean, it you does. get up to Cleveland, it's completely different. than it, Columbus is – that's not Ohio. Columbus isn't Ohio. No. I mean, Cincinnati is Ohio. Oh, <laughs> Cleveland's Ohio. Toledo is Ohio. Marietta is Ohio. Columbus. Cincinnati. Columbus is full of a bunch of foreigners that come in. And I mean foreigners from, like, a lot of state. I don't mean like from foreign countries. They, I mean, they just, no, that's not Ohio. Because everybody comes to Ohio State, and for some reason they stay. I don't know why. Rio Grande. Rio Grande. Okay, so says you. It's Rio Grande. How dare you, sir? <laughs> oh, my. I know. I feel like uh, Greta Thun- Thunberg. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I like, I like to use her uh, little meme every once in a while. It's just funny to me. Any other questions on Royal Enfield or Harley Davidson or some of the other bikes I'm going to be riding in the future? Like I said, I mentioned some tri- uh, Triumph stuff we're going to be doing. Uh, and we're also going to be doing some CF Moto and some Kawasaki. Honda is a little difficult to get a hold of um, simply because they don't like you test riding their bikes, which is why I... Uh, it's I like the other motorcycles. Yeah, the Indian. The, the hair hazard. Yeah, the hair <laughs> We, we, we call Indian Motorcycles the hairdresser company because everybody we know that rides an Indian is a hairdresser. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It just is what it is. I know. It is what it is. Okay, keep going. Happy birthday, Ronan. I've always wanted to ride. Okay, can't read it. It just fell off. And you've inspired me to finally go for the Himalayan and ride all throughout my country, Colombia. Hey, greeting. I tell you what, guys, you're the first uh, South American we've had. We Like I said, we love our worldwide fan base. We love folks all over the world. We really do. We, uh, it's one of the things that we're proud of that the Old Man Ronan channel is worldwide, which is why we say uh, hashtag Old Man Ronan Crew Worldwide. Give me some more. Uh, Jason, can you make the Himalayan taller with a seat? I'm working on that. I've got a, I've got a, a plan to take. I bought the touring seat, uh, and I'm going to take my original seat and have somebody reprofile. Not the, not the foam. I don't, I don't want to add foam. Foam just to me smushes. I want to add uh, fiberglass or plastic or something to make it taller. Because to me, if it was closer to being flat, it would be better. For I mean, I'm, I'm over six foot, uh, smaller than I used to be, uh, but uh, particularly in the 2018, my knees kind of hit those, those uh, crash bars along the gas tank. And I want a higher seat so I can slide back a little bit better. So, yeah, I, I, I definitely want a higher seat. But I don't want just falling. I know people are doing the seat concepts, and it looks to me that they're just putting foam on it. I don't know for a fact. Chad says, I wish I made hairdresser money. <laughs> See, I, did, I said that on purpose because he has an Indian. <laughs> no, you don't. I'll I tell you what. That, that's, like I said, it's a joke, but come on, we no. love all motorcycles no matter what. It just around here you can't test ride a uh, only on the demo days is you're allowed to test ride a, an Indian and that kind of hurts my feelings. Yeah, somewhere. that dealer wasn't nice to us. Yeah, we went in there and I said, hey, I like to test ride one of the uh, one of the Indians. Oh, you yeah, put money down on it first. And I went, what? No. <laughs> I mean, no, I just want to test ride it. I just want to see what it's like. 
Anyways, we'll just say two wheel. Hepcat said, do you think the INT650 would be a good cross country bike? Uh, I, I, like I said, I've rode cross country on Sportsters, FXRs, uh, pretty much every style of motorcycle. You can make any bike a cross country bike if, you, if you're comfortable on it. The whole idea is your ability to ride and how long you can ride. Will it do it? Easily. You can do it on a 350. It's a matter of having it, uh, having it uh, um, set up the way that you want to so you can be comfortable because if you're going to do like an iron butt and, you know, iron butts are a thousand miles in a certain amount of time. Um, I don't even consider that. I mean, when I was younger, that was not even a factor. Nobody talked about iron butts because we were doing it all the time anyways. I mean, we'd ride to Sturgis, not even thinking about it. We'd do it in one day. I mean, we'd ride 23 hours straight out there. I mean, hell, I've been to Florida several times riding straight through. We never stopped. Uh, but those are, those days are gone for me because of my age. But as far as, uh, you got to be comfortable. If you're comfortable on the bike, any bike will be a cross-country bike. And, you know, you hear these terms of what can and can't do. Like, you know, you can't take the, uh, the Media 350 on a long-distance tour. That's not true. You can do as long as you're comfortable. You can go as far as you can go. Chad Winter said, "Read to me." Oh wait. Okay. Either way, if Chad Zimmerman's dealership lets him ride them. That's awesome, Chad, because oh, they won't do that they down won't here. Do that here. Yeah, it's frustrating because I really, really and it, and it, and it kind of and it kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth about the entire brand for that very reason. I mean, back when, before, before Polaris bought Indian, I was all about the Indian motorcycle. When they first came back, the, like the second time, back in the early 2000s, uh, I was thinking, man, that would be, I think it'd be fun. It'd be a nice addition because, you know, I love I loved the heritage of what the Indian was up. My grandpa owned a heritage of Indian back in the day. And so I thought that would be a cool bike to get. And so I couldn't afford it, but I was able to ride one back in the early 2000s. And then Polaris bought them, and for some reason, around here, they won't let you ride them. And that just, that to me puts a bad taste in my mouth. My, my philosophy is, if I'm not allowed to test ride a bike, there's no freaking way I'm going to buy one. No way. Okay, keep going. Tom says, hey, a little late to the party, but happy birthday, old man. Thank you, Tom. Ray Fisher, I think you already talked about it, but what's up with the adventure bike ride and camp out? That's going to be the Rona Retreat. It's going to be in October. Um, let me... Uh, now, I can't do that. I can't mess up the screen. I will give you the exact dates. Email me and I'll give you full information. We're going to go to a resort that has cabins. It will not be tent camping. It'll be cabin camping. Uh, there'll be several people in certain cabins and stuff like that, but there'll be like five different ponds and flakes to fish. We'll be riding around an area. It'll be all gravel road stuff of that nature. So you, it's pretty much, I, I'm going to limit it to I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't limit it to anything because I, I really don't know people's ability to ride. Uh, and so I have to watch myself. I, I, I want to make sure everybody's going to be safe. But there are some roads that are pretty rough to get back into. Uh, if you're a seasoned rider that's taking your Harley in gravel roads and roads that are pretty heavily washboarded and lots of loose gravel and stuff like that, you're more than welcome. Uh, you know... If you can ride my driveway, you can ride anywhere. And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Uh, Chad, Chad, you know that, uh, but uh, and so do you, Andy. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, that's the kind of roads you got to get to up hills that are gravelly and washboardy to get to this place. And if you can do that, and but I don't want somebody to say, well, uh, Ronan says you yeah, can bring my uh, uh, electric glide out here, and poof, he dumps it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, back again. We, we dropped there for a second. I don't want to see you have some problems and hurt your bike because uh, uh, you're riding above your ability. Uh, you know, that's that's what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a cool place. Two-wheel so have cat ride a 1980 Honda XL 250 across the country. Right. I mean, any bike. Any bike. Any bike will do it. Great. Keep going. Chad Winters at that old Zen in the art of motorcycle maintenance. Mm -hmm. Riding his son run cross country with camping gear. Two up on a 125. I, ha I have that book, Zen of a uh, Motorcycle. Uh, uh, it's, you know... It's just a great little book. It's not really about motorcycle mechanics work. It's just more or less about the, the thought process. Jason Walker, Versailles in Ohio is pronounced Versailles. Versailles. Well, what's uh, Belfontaine pronounced? Belfontaine. Belfontaine. It's Belfontaine. 
I don't care how they pronounce it. Bell Fountain. What did Chad say? It's true. Uh, two wheel head cap. That's awesome. XL 250 cross country. Chad Winters at Jason Walker. I know how it's pronounced in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio has so many different little cultures, it's crazy. Like you see, you get down to, you get, you get into meth land, <laughs> which we're not too far from. And I mean, it's just, a, it, it's a whole different world than it is in like Columbus or Cleveland or Akron or Canton. Versailles, no way. Or Versailles or, or Bell Fountain <laughs> or down there in Cincinnati or, you know. Well, here we have towns called Janate and Hutton or they say, it's either Janate and Hutton or foreigners will say, uh, and I say foreigners, people ain't from Ohio. Uh, Gnaut and Hooten, uh, we have uh, Navarre, the people say Navarre, we have Maslin, people say Massilion, we have... Uh, well, that would be the closest to the French. correct French pronunciation. Yeah. But I mean, there's just so there's just so many pronunciations of all the different towns. Well, just Gallipolis is the best one because everybody says, is it Gallipolis? Is it... Uh, Gallipolis, <laughs> Gallipolis, and no, it's Gallipolis, and they go, well, it doesn't look like that. I now know, but that's just how you pronounce it. It's Gallipolis, and, and you know we, we won't be too close to it, but it's down there on the high river too. Uh, that's that's where the Mothman's from. Are you whatever? Are you on the list to attempt to buy one of the special 120 edition Royal Enfields? I wonder what the odds of snagging one is. Oh uh, well, I have no idea, and there's no way that I could afford one. Uh, I, I mean, it would be uh, they went they want that bike those 120 editions to go to the connoisseurs and I wouldn't even be I, that's not even in my realm man I don't I, I that's not me anyways I don't uh, it's like I never buy a CVO um, it just that's not me at, at simple put the great looking bikes man they're beautiful they really truly are but as far as the odds of getting one um, it's like buying a CVO and if you guys don't know what CVO is a custom vehicle operations uh, from Harley Davidson again. I'm kind of still Harley centric, even though I'm more Royal Enfield now. But I my background is Harley Davidson, and so I know a lot more about them than anything else. And CBO is their specialty high dollar expensive rub rub riders, and rub riders buy those kind of bikes, and uh, and it's going to be the same kind of thing. You're going to get a guy who is a lawyer. Uh, Somebody like that's got a lot of money, owns their own corporation or whatever, and they're going to look at that bike and say, mine, ride it for two months, and then put it away. That's usually what happens with bikes like that. Anything else? Chad says the drive at your house is extreme, the driveway. Chad is what? Is extreme. Yes, it is. <laughs> I felt bad for him, man. I was like, holy shit, he's going to drop that into you. <laughs> I, was so bad. I was so nervous, especially when you made that corner down in that rut. Woo, doggy, I was a little bit nervous for you. I was going to say, well, you know, again. <laughs> but I tell you what, Chad, I got it reprofiled the other day, so it's not so bad now. It's pretty nice now. It's actually pretty nice. I mean, I, uh, I, I mean, uh, it, have I dropped my bike on my driveway? Yes, yes. I've dropped the Road King. And uh, Iron Lady had to come out and help dig me out because I was buried in the gravel with that thing. <clears throat> but, yeah, yeah, it, our driveway is like this, and it's, and if, the man, we get the minute we get a rain, it just goes. He said it wouldn't have bothered him if he wasn't pulling the trailer. And, and that's a big difference. That's why I was nervous for you. Not, not because of anything else. I mean, uh, I had Andy's been here at the house, and uh, and he uh, he's a Himalayan. And I was a little nervous for him too, but he did, he handled it pretty well. Like I say, Andy's a, a fairly new rider. I, I don't want to embarrass him, but he's a fairly new rider, and he did a remarkable job on. It. I, don't, I don't ride it down. She down. won't. Uh, her her M. Neither one will ride him down the. Down the hill. Yes, pull the bike down the driveway. No, thank you. Yeah, it, well, it's a, it's a, it's sharp, man. It's a, we, we live on an edge of a holler, and uh, there's a good reason. I mean, we, are uh, the difference between put it this way, where our garage is is above where our house roof is, and uh, it's not that far away. <laughs> We're on the side of a hill. We are hillbillies, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> one of us. Well, guys, we've been on for almost two hours, and I'll tell you what, I've had more fun and more pleasure on this uh, uh, live stream than I had in a long time. Any other question before we shut her off? I'd like to have some folks. Any more comments there, huh? I got this much more beer, and when that beer is gone, and I'm not going to chug it, we're going to be done with the live stream.
It was great, guys. Happy birthday. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. We really do appreciate each one of you guys. We, uh, we think this is like, uh, this is something that I, I love doing. And I hope that you can tell. Uh, motorcycles are a big part of my life and they always have been. Thanks, Hepcat. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Sandy. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. Thanks, Stuart. Sorry, missed some. That's okay. You can rewatch it. And I encourage you to. mentioned how young you are. I'm 64 today. Uh, let's see. Cheers and. What's it say? Cheers and can tell, brother. Yeah. We, we really do love the sport. I don't even sport. We joke about brands and we joke yeah. about things, but truly it's it's about riding <laughs> motorcycles and we poke fun at people and, and, and different brands, but honestly, it's all... It's all yeah, in good faith. It's yeah. all in good faith. It's all brotherhood and... and Sisterhood. And, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, we really you do. We, I had to, but, but it is. I mean, you know, we really do I enjoy... Happy 64th birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, it, it's about the lifestyle, uh, not necessarily. It is the culture. And the culture is, you know, when you when you see another bike and things are a little bit different now than it used to be, um, pretty much everybody will wave at you. Uh, it's like the Jeep wave. Everybody will wave at you anymore. And it's the way it should be because we're all on two wheels. You know, the old saying is less cagers, more two wheelers. And, uh, that's the way we believe. Uh, I, if I could spend my entire life and never drive a car again, I would be happy with that. I, I just, you know, I love, love my pickup truck, that's, but I, I, I feel at home on that motorcycle. So I love the cool. wind. Tom wants to know, he says he was under the impression that Roland Field was going to be sold at 2000 over stock edition. Is that a delusion? He has no idea. No clue, dude. That's something way above my pay grade. The only thing I get, the only thing that I get before you is nothing. I don't get any inside information. Uh, I, I really don't. Um, I, uh, I have a relationship with dealers. I have a relationship with the corporation. But as far as knowledge ahead of time, I don't know anything. I mean, and I don't want it that way because, uh, you know, there's a saying in the, uh, in the military about loose lips sinking ships, and I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to leak late. I don't want to leak. I am not a Washington, uh, you know, politician. I don't like to leak things. So, because I would, I don't really know how to keep a secret. I, uh, Iron Lady will attest to you like that. If I get something for her birthday or Christmas, I say, look what I got, because I get excited about it. And so that's one of the things I don't want to know. I, just don't tell me. Uh, and that's the way I like to do things. Stuart says, have a relationship with my finance officer. Well, see, that's uh, that's why we're different, Stuart, because I don't ever buy bikes I can't afford. <laughs> I either pay cash or I don't buy it. Uh, and that's just the way me. I, I, I don't like to owe anybody anything. You know, there's an old saying, but be there a bower nor a lender be. And that's kind of me. I don't like to borrow money. I don't like to... Uh, uh, I, I just like that. I like to be able to stay within my means and that has enabled me to have multiple Harley Davidson's and multiple uh, Royal Enfields right now. So I really am happy with that. I don't need the newest shiniest because I can make something shiny. I can't make it new, but I can make it shiny and I can make it the way I want. And so if people look at that attitude about motorcycles, you don't have to have the newest and freshest. Like I said, the only new motorcycle that's in our stable is the Meteor. He says, please talk to my wife then. <laughs> what do you mean about buying stuff? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's just the way it is. You, you, you know, you, 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 when you buy a motorcycle, this is the best tip I can give anybody. If you want to buy a motorcycle, don't buy it when you need it. Buy it when you want it. That you can walk away from it at any time. Uh, the deal, because you, you know, you, you, you know, one of the things I hate more than anything else is this new, this new direction of buying cars. Like you see the ads for Carvana, they'll say no dickering, man. That's the fun. That's the fun. I have no issue whatsoever of what walking away from a deal. In other words, let's say the guy's got a, a, a two bikes. I'd like to have. I'd like to have another FXRT, and I have. I'd like to have another '66 uh, a Sportster. Well, actually, three bikes. I'd like to have an old uh, uh, Royal Enfield uh, 
uh, 350 from the 40s and 50s. I'd love to have, or a 500. I'd love to have one of those. And I'd like to have a 66 uh, XLCH. I've had several of those come up in my life uh, in the last couple of years. And the reality of it is uh, they wanted too much money for it. And I, I, did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yeah. But it was more than I was willing to spend and I was able to walk away from it. You can't, you know, got to get yourself in position to realize that there'll be something available down the road. It may not be today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe a month or two or five years from now. But buy the bike the right way instead of emotional buy. I, I hate emotional buyers or ones that don't want a dicker. If you don't want a dicker, I don't want to buy it. I, we get lost in the couple of days. Yeah, winners, I want to know what the fair price is. And not only the fair price, I want to be under that. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, whatever the, the fair price is, whatever you want to pay for it, whatever the guy needs. Uh, my Road King, when I got it, uh, you know, I bought it because a guy had a bike and he wanted to get rid of it because his wife just passed away and he wanted it out of his life. I was looking at a lot of different Road Kings before that and it happened to be the right deal at the right time and it ended up being perfect for me. It was kind of a sad story because he didn't want the bike anymore. But it's found a home with us, and it's been a big part of our lives. So, Well, guys, I think it's about time to call our quits. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. This has been a phenomenal live stream, and you've made my birthday better than I can ever imagine. Thank you once again. Guys, make sure that you always ride safe. Iron Lady, get up here and say goodbye to everybody. We've got 26 people watching. Cheers, my beer is going to be gone. Ugh. Now I'll finish it. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know what Hepcat says there real quick before we go. Oh, Jesus. I know, she says, oh, Jesus. Thanks, Chad. See you Friday or Thursday. Call me, call me on uh, Thursday, brother. Who do you want me to read? Just go down the last couple of lists. Before we head off. Oh, just thanks. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. You you guys mean the world to us. We really do appreciate you. Let's see. We'll do Chad Winters. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. I don't have any music to play here on our way out, but I'll sing for you. Oh, no. <laughs> God's blessing you. Hey, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. To both of us. Here, here you ready? No. Do 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 do